thing. <laughs> oh, honey. That was for you. <laughs> that was a special snort going out to my friend. <gasps> what is wrong with me? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Uh, that's one of my, uh, that wasn't the one I meant to hit, but you know, hey, whatever. You just don't hit it now. We don't have that many people in the chat. Oh, hit it, oh hit you it, want me to it. do it? All right. Yeah, let's see it. Hold on. Oh, what did I just do? All right. Here we go. Is it this one? Oh, I got the one for Super Chat and Super Let's go down scope and look at it. Do, 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 do. Down scope. Let's just look a little closer and closer still. <laughs> I don't know. I got a couple different things. Hi, I'm Mia. This is Crazy Maze Cash. And this is. Hey, yes, it's late for me, but I'm ready for this. He took a nap. Did you take a nap? No, I didn't. I didn't either. <laughs> we'll see how long we can go. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Who we got here? Let me see. Miss Idaho is always, always first. And Susan, how are you? JY, Ma Maggie, Maggie. She's up in uh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Hello, everyone. So we're going to have a good time. I, You know what? I have these on, and they're driving me nuts already. I'm going to take them off. <laughs> Suzanne, what's happening? So, so family, just another day. I had my bingo earlier, and it's like herp and eat lunch, dinner and get back down here. Oh, <laughs> thanks so much for coming. I, this um, has been a long time coming. So finally, I'm here. Yes, you are. Susanna, hello, good afternoon, and welcome. And Maggie, and JY, and Susan, Susan, Suzanne Stickler. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome. I met you in another chat the other day. I think it was in Nella's. Wendy, hello, good afternoon. And we were Wendy. dropping the link in my beat because I was like, where are you going to be? Where are you going to be? So yeah. I've been talking <laughs> about all week. Yeah, I, um, I try to jump in when I can, when you have bingo. But half the time, I'm taking a nap. I didn't get to take a nap today, but things were just... You know, life gets in the well, way. So happened. I always start with, I got some prayer candles going for my family and for everybody's family that, you know, we got to take care of each other and, yep, you know. Yep. Oh, and uh, also uh, keeping your prayers, uh, Papa Jay. Oh. They found a tumor in his liver, so they're going to be having it removed on the 22nd. Oh, okay. Okay. I got a... Uh, who do I have over there? I think I've got uh, St. Jude and, yep, St. Jude and uh, Archangel Michael and. Hello, Amy. Welcome. And the Lady of Guadalupe, which is Virgin Mary. Hi, Amy. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, thank you, Wendy. <laughs> yes, if you have not yet, please follow Johnny. I put his, uh, it's in the description below and it's in the chat. So, um, yeah, I would really appreciate it. So I do, when I do my, my sales, Johnny, I always do, um, that they have to be a member to on Monday nights on Wednesdays when I do the unboxing, that's just, you know, that's anybody can go in, you know, in the chat. So, um, and if, if you guys agree, if it's okay, if there's somebody that I don't have, uh, he doesn't have your information, I have it. Do you want to tell him? Where all about you? Let's go. Let's do sure. that. Here's about me all in a nutshell. Well, I do a Monday morning show every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't checked me out before, it's all QA. We usually talk about anything about reselling. If you wanted to get into reselling, you haven't started yet, that's the place to be in the morning at eight o'clock. It's Coffee with Cajun. And also, I do an open mic where I'll, I'll usually with 30 minutes within the show, I'll drop my uh, link in the chat and you can come on up and promote your channel. Uh, every uh, Monday night is 4 30. Is Fun night to bingo night every Monday night at 4 30. 
and Mark Tool, guys, is my uh, co-host. Every Wednesday, I do a hump day auction. That's at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do not sell, but I just host a show because we have three co-hosts and two guests every Wednesday. And then on the first Tuesday of the month, if you are a member of my channel and I use Kofi, uh, you can come in and do, be part of the uh, rapid fire round showcasing of members of the channel. Uh, the panel is members, but you do not have to be a member to be in the chat and purchase. And then I also do um, this week, uh, besides tonight, I will be on Thursday with Saved Here First, Ella, as I always say, Ella, Ella, Ella. And that's every thir this Thursday at 1 o'clock, I'll be a guest on her show. And then Friday, I'll be on with Dawn Southern Finds Dawn. And that's at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And her co-host is Yord again. And I'll be there this uh, Friday. Now, if you are following me and or you come into those other chats, uh, Wednesday, like I said, Thursdays would save here first and Friday will be with Dawn. And you purchase something through all the week. I will be invoicing Friday evening after the show is over or Friday night, no later than Saturday morning. Once you pay, I ship. Uh, in my invoicing situation, the way I do it is if I do not hear from you, I do have multiple other ways to do invoicing. I do uh, Square, I do Venmo, I do Cash App, and I also do uh, Zillow. Uh, and if you if I don't hear from you, it'll automatically be PayPal. Um, but I, I do ship from Massachusetts. I am from the north northwest of Mass, and uh, I do pirate ship for shipping. Whatever I pay is what you pay, and then I invoice by PayPal if I do not hear from you. Uh, but if you do want any other forms of uh, invoicing, just let me know by emailing me. And it's at CajunRootsResolver at Outlook.com uh, is my email I use for my channel. And um, I also do quilting. I do uh, special orders with that kind of stuff. But well, that'll be another show. And so that's about all and about me in a nutshell. That's all, folks. That's all. That's all. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you guys know that I ship from Massachusetts as well. I, I don't know which look I like. I like this one. <laughs> um, yeah. I just so want a long, long one. I don't like that one. You don't let, I don't even know which one that is. Okay. The first one when we first came in. This one? Yeah, I don't like that one. You, you don't like that one. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. So, um, yeah. So, are you... At, oh, you guys know that I ship from Massachusetts as well. I love the way you say it, though, Johnny. Massachusetts. <laughs> I love, I love it. Well, so, look, I'm from Louisiana. I'm a Cajun, so I'm gonna say it how I can say it. <laughs> so, I'm also. My dad's family is from um, the West Bank of New Orleans, and it's called Jefferson Parish. And uh, Johnny actually knows where my dad's shop used to be on the yep. the Huey P. Long. <laughs> yep, I used to drive that all the time. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So my maiden name is Boule. So it, it's Mia Boule, or my real name is Maria Elena Lucia Evangela Boule, and my husband well, messed it up. I was gonna say, if your mom gets mad at your voice, that was a mouthful to say, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, but yeah. And then, you know, when I get married, it, it's not such an iambic pentameter anymore. <laughs> But yeah, boule is French, and I got my DNA done, and it's only I'm only like two percent French. Oh, it's just the name, you know. It's a long lineage of All boules, but but no, but it's it only two percent. Mostly, I'm mostly Sicilian. I'm like 45, 47 percent Sicilian. It's crazy. Anywho, yeah, so I I do pirate ship as well, and whatever I pay, you pay. When you pay, I do billing through ship, uh, PayPal. And um, I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. And uh, hey, Beth, how are you? And Rebecca, what's going on? <laughs> Thanks for coming in. So yeah, on Mondays we we just I just have a good time. Uh, we do we do. Uh, where's Terry? Terry usually does the snort count, so you know I laugh really loud. <laughs> They get me going and I laugh and then I snort and, and then so they're like, okay, one, two, three. So that at the end, there's usually a snort count. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I'm usually in bed at this time, so I usually don't catch the show. Uh, yeah. I usually sometimes have to watch the replay. Yeah. And if there's anything that you see, if you're watching on the replay, you can always email one of us if you see something that you really like that didn't sell. And Whoever, uh, you know, sometimes I get multiple emails the next day about the same 
object. So um, whoever sends it first is usually the one that yep. <laughs> that gets it. So exactly how um, I do it. Yep, that's exactly how I do it. So and if so, on what I do is the live show on Wednesday on Monday nights for the live sale, but on Wednesdays we go through the stash. And I try to find things to sell for the following Monday, but that doesn't always happen because sometimes we find things like the belts. I showed you the belt, right? Not yet. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. The belt, the belt. We and found... usually on Wednesdays when you do your show, I'm getting ready for a hump day. Yeah. See, and then I try to have people go over to you after, after me. All right, I'm mm -hmm. going to make myself big. Yeah, because my hair is all out of place. <laughs> so when I, find, <laughs> when I find stuff like this, this is silver. And it's, uh, I don't know. It's a belt. And it's all silver and it says 1714 in the back and 1751. And we found this a few weeks ago. It was just so crazy. We were like, I was like, oh my God. So when we find stuff like this, I usually can't sell it the following week because I, it's this st stuff like this takes so much time to research. Right. Um, I, I, Words cannot explain how <laughs> crazy this thing is. Susanna wants to know, have you learned anything new? About the belt? Um, no, I have not. I have, uh, but to tell you the truth, I have not. Um, I did show it to, I did show it to Sunday Bobbles when we had a, because um, I'm a member of her channel. And we, they, we do a private Zoom. And so I... I'm going to be, I just took a bunch of pictures and I'm going to be sending it to her and she's going to help me investigate it more. She's so good at investigating. So, um, yeah. Belly dancing. Okay, Wendy, what about belly dancing? <laughs> you telling my secrets? A couple of weeks ago, that was la lapis. La belly dancing la belt. I had a lapis belt. I did. I did. Oh, you did. You had a lapis belt. Really? I can bring it tonight. I thought, uh, I thought she was ta talking about me because oh, I yeah. used to belly dance when I was younger. Yeah. This was I actually used to compete. Stone. I, by the time I was 15, I was competing. Wow. Against like adult women. Oh, the um, belt. Looks. She said, no, the belt looks like a belly dancing belt. Oh yeah, this is from um it's from the 1700s. And it's uh I you know, you would like to think it's a belly dancing belt, but if you look at yeah, it usually the belly dancing belts have more things hang, hanging down. It's hanging, yes. And this is more like see there's an equestrian, there's a a rider there and there's that one is like a I don't even know what that is. I don't know. It's, it it's a lot. So there's just a, so when the stuff is really like this, you're like, Oh, <laughs> I can't bring it to sale right away, but everything is for sale. Eventually everything. Um, and I think that's, I think we've covered every, all of it. So what you got? You covered all your biddings. For anybody who doesn't know, there's been oh, before. yep. The way we bid, if you if you uh, forget what I'm saying, it's it's below in the chat. Um, what is it? One from two dollars to twenty, it's one dollar increments, and then from um, twenty to fifty, it's two dollars two dollar increments, and then five dollar increments from fifty to hundred, and after hundred, it's ten dollars increments. Hey, Lindsay, what's going on? Hello, Lindsay, Diane. How are you doing? Long time no see. Yeah. I'm so, sure. yeah, Wendy's saying, yes, it was uh, noisier. Where's, where's Jennifer tonight? I don't see her yet. I don't know. What happened? I don't know. Who's my woman? 
Where's my mod? I hope you bought the link for us in the uh, bingo when we were there. Okay. Something must have come up with her kids or something. I'm sure she'll text me or, or whatever. But so uh, do you have hard goods or do you have, did you bring jewelry tonight? I got jewelry and hard goods. I got a mixture. Okay, cool. I try to do, usually when I do each round, I usually try to have two pieces of jewelry and some hard good. If not, it's all jewelry. And some can be choices. Some can be just one of. So I have a little okay. bit of everything. Yeah. Okay. I want to see you, Julie. What you got on tonight? And if, oh, well, I always have my, my cross, which is also a brooch. Oh, hold on. I'm going to make it big. Oh, there we go. <gasps> my Ooh. Beard. That's beautiful. And then the back is also a brooch. And what stones are those? That's beautiful. Girl, they're diamonds. Diamonds are a man's Woo! best friend. You know, that's all diamonds, girl. Oh, and this that one is my Alexandrite. I had that one specially made with the diamonds around it. Nice. Which matches my ring. Oh, hold it up. Oh, 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 oh there it is. Yeah. It's hard to clean, but yeah, that's my little focus. So I got that specially made too. This was a Christmas gift. This one was a birthday gift. Okay, now when if you come back and rewatch the video, anything that I put up in the chat, I use the number system for not only my invoicing but also my inventory. So whatever I put in the chat, if you reach out to me and email me, uh, when you re-email me, it'll say that. Please tell me that number that I put in the chat that you'd be interested in if it didn't sell here during the show. Now this first one is a vintage piece. You got one. I'm gonna show you the back first. You can see this. Uh, it's all cabochons, but you can see through them. They're not covered. And the pin does go past the uh, the closure. It is a, a, a C-class closure. And then, of course, they got hearts all the way around the, in, the inside of it, outside of it. And then there's an AB crystal right in the center. All of a sudden, I guess because at night I got too much lighting. But anyway, there we go. Focus. And you got the blue, the greens. And then you have the little rhinestones on the tops. Those are green as well. Uh, all four of those are green. They're prong set. All of these are prong set. And you have the little heart filigrees all the way around the side. And uh, it's number one, 1197. It's in the chat. Looking for a starting bit of 16. And again, you'll see the V, v portion of the, the, the brooch in the back. There's no name on that. That's beautiful. No, this is not named. No, no signature. A little special tool here. There you go. And you see the little hearts all the way around. All the stones around the side are uh, crystals, and the rest is cabochons, and the center is an AB crystal. And I'm looking for a $16 starting bid. Do we have any interest? I don't see. And I need to do a meetup with Wendy. She lives here on the west of the South Shore. Does right, she? Gonna, yeah. So that's why she was asking, where are you in Mass? I'm, I'm on the South Shore as well. All right. If there's no interest, we'll call that a pass. Wendy, I'm on the South Shore as well. And the only reason I know that is because when she wins, I send her prizes. And I was like, oh, and that's weird because when I'm doing prizes for bingo or whatever, I don't look at anything until I go to put the label on it. And it's like, oh, she lives here in Mass. All right. My next item is a designer, cabbage, uh, cloisonne, email, nice email scent. All right. These are some brass vases. I'm also in the same city as Mio. Really? Susie's yeah, in the same. Susie's in Quincy with me, yeah. I'm in a town called between uh, Gardner or Gardner. Gardner. Uh, <laughs> Phillipston, King Phillipston town. 
I'm in the town right between that. It's called Templeton. That's where I live. All it's right. So this is a brass vase. It's claws and A. Yeah. To me, it looks like irises, but it's painted with enamel. You see all the branches and everything around, and it's the same scene all the way around. It is, uh, what did I put in here? What was the height? Four inches tall. It is brass, inside and out. You can't really tell because it's so dark, but there you go. You can see the inside is all completely brass. It's nice and round at the top. And it goes all the way around. And I have two of these available. My sister-in-law was in Godna. Yeah, I live the town next to it. Gardner is uh, growing so fast. We even got a new Aldi's. We're getting a Five Below. We're getting a, what's that other restaurant? Chipotle. They're Ooh. building up that area. Yeah. I love Chipotle's. I haven't eaten there since we moved here. There's oh, Jennifer. There Hello, Jennifer. Is. And again, I got nervous. <laughs> it's got like a glaze over it, but it's all cloisonne. Irises all the way around. And it's more of a um, sage green. And it looks like it's black, but it's actually purple. A deep purple or dark red is what it looks like to me. And it goes all the way around. And I do have two of these. And they're both exactly the same. So I do have two available. Nice and red. Those are pretty. Yeah. If there's no interest, we'll call that a pass. Remember, if you do email me, um, make sure you include the number in the email. Um, that way, I keep the Jennifer's here. Lord, let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I'm used to doing my own. Yeah. I know. Thank you, Jennifer. She's awesome. Uh, no. I was panicking. I'm like, where is she? All right. This is a unique piece. Never looks like it's ever been used. It is a vintage piece at that. And this will be number 12, JK 1204. Lori Sayer. Sayer? Sawyer? Sawyer. Sawyer. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi, and welcome. How are you doing? Good to see What's you. What's going on? All right. This next item I have is an iridescent lucite confetti cabochon silver tone belt buckle. There's the back of it. No markings. There's your belt buckle piece and your little hook right here. Now you can see the hook. You can see how it's joined in the center. And this is the front. You can see the fire colors inside with the confetti. As you turn around, you can see more of the colors. And this way I get it closer for you. That's there beautiful. That's is that a sand, uh, what do they call it? Sand mold? Uh it's an iridescent lucite confetti cabochon. Okay. And then, but the rest of it, that's sterling or? It's uh, it's it's silver tone, but there's no markings. It's, it looks like, uh, like it's uh, uh, trying to be uh, Native American. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not magnetic. Oh, the belt buckle is this part, but not this part. I use an earth magnet. Okay. I keep, it in the phone. I keep it in the phone, but the belt buckle is not magnetic, but the, 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 the strap is in the back. And you tested it? Not yet. No, I just got, I just processed these this morning. All right. Thank you very much. And that was my three. Okay, honey. All right. My turn. Okay. So thanks, Jennifer. I'm so glad you're here. And don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, you said you're sorry for being like, we all have lives. So I was just worried because you're always here and you're always on time. I want to make sure that you're okay and family's okay. All right. So what I have, my first one, it is a brass. It's brass. Um, size nine and three quarter ring. And it's textured, like brushed. 
and I'm going to start this at $16. It says brass inside. It's brand new. I'm going to go down scope so you can see. Down scope. Do, 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 do. And it's got a really nice texture to it. And on the inside, I don't think Uncle ever wore this one, but this was in his things. And it just says brass right there. Brass, everybody's wearing brass and copper again. And big clip-on earrings are back. Can you imagine like on the 80s, all that stuff has come, has come, everything comes back around. So yeah, it's, um, what do they call it? A cigar band? You could say a wedding band, but it's cute. And I don't see any interest in that. So I think we're gonna pass. All right, this one's small, it's petite, but it's very, very, very blingy. Um, it's a size six, it is sterling. Um, the blues are spinel, but the other ones are just CZs. And I'm gonna start this at um, $22. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of sterling in there and it's only a size six. I think I gotta fix my, there we go. It is really, really pretty. So it's it's got like baguettes in between, in between the uh, marquee shaped. Really, really, really pretty. And I think it's just marked 925 and that's it. Oh, there is a another mark there, but I don't know. I don't know what that is. Yep, we're gonna pass. I don't think anybody's, anyone, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> All right. So, and my third thing, is this is in one more ring this i love the orange i love this orange color <laughs> so this is actually glass it is not reading on the presidium at all um it's either glass or cz or whatever but it is sterling and it's an eight and a quarter and i'm going to start this at 22 dollars as well I love this color. It's a really, actually, I got a little bit of orange going on tonight with um, the jade I've got on. We found this necklace. Um, hold on, I'm going to go back up here. We found this necklace a few, what, a few weeks ago? And it's got this beautiful orange uh, jade out here and here and then carved jade here and up here. And it's set in gold. I love it. I'm going to get the little earrings to go with it. <laughs> All right. So the ring, let's see, I'm going to put it on. It is, I love the color. It does pop. Yep. It's eight and a quarter. It is quiet. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> it's quiet tonight. I don't see any interest. I just really, I really think the color is, is really pretty. All right. So I don't see any interest. So that was my three. Where is he? Here's. Oh, Jeezel. You took me home. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We're in for a bumpy ride, people. And yeah, I know. Well, okay. And in Massachusetts, we get till what? The 17th for tax day? Today's not yeah. tax day in Massachusetts. No, we get because today's a holiday. It's Patriots Day. So I everybody thought in else... Louisiana, we celebrated every holiday in the town, but Lord Jesus. <laughs> All right. On to you, baby. Oh, I was just going to say that. Yeah. Uh, all right. This next one is number 1202. We had the Boston Marathon today, too. Oh. oh. 
Oh, here we go. It's 1188, that's why. I got the wrong one. So I'm gonna do these in, in differently. So back that out, 1188. Again, if you come back and rewatch the video, make sure you do email me if you see something that uh, didn't sell, by like claiming it with the letter numbers that I'll put in the chat for this audio. Hello, Myra. Buying space in the house. Hi, Myra. All right. All right. This one is a vintage Monet. It's a silver tone signed and mark. It is signed and marked right there on the tag. It is a herringbone. It is a uh, lobster class. It is very clean, but it's also 24 inches long. Oh. No kinks. And it is marked Monet. Nice and shiny, no kinks, and it is a 24-inch herringbone chain, uh, marked and signed by Monet. Yeah, the marathon was today. Well, from what I hear, I didn't hear nothing on the news or anything, so I'm assuming it did go well. Uh, and this, again, is a Monet, vintage Monet signed, and it is um, silver tone, 24-inch. Uh, And it's the same design on both sides. Yeah, it seemed like it was a good run. On channel four, our channel four here covered it all morning. All right, thank you very much. That's a pass. All right, my next item, and again, I'm gonna be rotating jewelry and hard goods. Tone of body sweat. Uh, let's see, 1206. 1206. Now, this is still new in the box, has never been used. And the original box, it's a Zippo. All the stickers are still there. This one's made in the USA, genuine Zippo lighter. And on the inside, it's got all the paperwork for the uh, the lighter itself. And this is the front of this one. You've got two roses, one in its mouth, one on the side of its face. You see all the designs in the, in the lighter with the beams going behind them. And you can see the wick is still white, never been used. And the filter's still clean. Never been used. You know, Father's Day is next month. Well, in June. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, Mother's Day, then Father's Day. But brand new, never been used. Still in its box. And I will polish my fingerprints off of it. I was doing this earlier because I didn't want my fingerprints all over it. <laughs> it's really Looking nice. It's shiny. So. And then the back is plain. You can always get somebody's name engraved on it. And then that's the close-up of it again. There we go. There's the details of the skull with the roses. You can even see the thorns on the stem. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you all for looking. All right. My next one is... Another Monet, but this one's a little different. This one is a round snake chain, 52 inches long. I had to wrap it around this. Again, it's, it's wrapped around, but it's double right here. It does have this box clasp in the back. There's the back of it. And if I was to take this off like this, it's 52 inches long. Excellent condition. Looks practically brand new. And then there's the clasp itself. It's almost like two hands holding it. And there's the back of it. It is signed Monet. And I'll do that so it can be shorter. And you can do it as a double or you can adjust it the length because it's so long. And it is that round snake chain. But it sits flat. 
I was looking these up and I can only find a 24 inch. I never could find a 52 inch. So they're not that uh, popular, evidently. Oh, just more rare. Right, because it's the length, yeah. And I did find one in a 52, but it was in silver tone, not gold tone. So it must be a rare piece. I'm going to have to do some more research on it. And if there's no inches, we can pass. Thank you, Jennifer. And that was my three. So quick. Girl, I don't play around. <laughs> no, you don't. All right. I have... This is gorgeous. This is Iolite. I've had uh, a few of these. Uncle liked purple, so so do I. Let's go down scope and look at it a little bit better. A little bit better. Um, so this is actually Donna Karen, and it's 925 rhodium over uh, sterling iolite. It's a 10 and 3 quarters, and I need to start this at $50. This is amazing. Never worn, brand new. Actually, um, brand, I have the box. It was brand new in the box here. It is four rows of, one, two, three, five rows of Iolite, which is a, like a pale purple, really, really pretty. Let me see how wide this is. It's just like a half an inch wide. And it's all set in sterling with rhodium over the sterling so it doesn't, it doesn't tarnish. Anybody is interested? How's everybody doing? The size again is a 10 and three quarters, almost an 11. It's really, really pretty. Oh, not this one. This one. Isn't that pretty? It's just, I love the pale, pale purple. It is, it's really beautiful. I don't see anyone. <laughs> Jennifer's like, look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> yeah, very plain shank, but I mean, the, the stones speak for themselves, so. We're going to pass. Rebecca likes it. All right. Let's see what else we got. Oh, remember we found these. What did we find these this week? So these are silver tone screw backs. But look at how cute they are. They're little, um, what are they called? Like little pixies or something. Aren't they cute? This one looks like, hold on, let's go down scope. I can't, I can't hold it over the, aren't they cute? So it looks like maybe a little foot is missing there. I just noticed that. Let me start this at 10 bucks. I don't think you'd really notice it. I'm, I'm only noticing it now. But they're actually two in two different positions. This one's holding a bird. And this one, I don't know what that one's doing. It looks like he's laughing or something. Like, <laughs> um, but it is a pair, and it's just silver tone. This is not sterling. These are not sterling. I don't know if they're. I don't. I didn't test them. Oh, they are. It is magnetic. They're a little magnetic. Start these at ten bucks. I just think they're adorable, and they're screw backs. They're not signed at all. And yeah, they're not signed. It almost looks like a boy and a girl. It could be. It could be. They do look Irish. They look like little pixies or something like that. Hold on. Can't. Um, 
mix something up. Let's see if this will work. Could be a boy and a girl. Who knows? Hey, Kirsten. What's going on? I don't see anyone. But yeah, they, I think they look Irish as well. They look like little pixies. All right. We're going to pass on those. And then I do have another. These other screwbacks are really old. But these are sterling. These are amazing. Um, they just say the word sterling. They're not 925. Um, they're flowers and I don't know what kind of flower that is. But um, let's start these at 20 bucks. Very, very vintage. Not signed. I wear screwbacks. I don't know about you, Johnny, but I do. I'll wear See? pierced. Yeah, well, I do pierced. I do screwbacks. I'll do clips. If I like the earring, <laughs> I just wear them. Yeah, these are pretty old. And they're very tarnished. So if you were, um, I mean, I don't, I don't clean my jewelry unless somebody asks me to, but I usually leave that up to the person that buys it if they want to keep it with the tarnish because I, I like it. I like the some certain that pieces need to have that depth of the oxidation. And other ones need to be real shiny, you know, but I don't see anybody for these either. All right. And those were my three. Where are you in? I, I'm right here. There, I'm now I'm gone. Right, everybody, please do me a favor at the top left corner of your chat. Please make sure you are refreshing. Make sure it says live chat, not top chat. If you look right below the screen, there's a word live. Make sure it has a red dot in front of it. Why are you down there? Hit the thumbs up. That'll help. And greatly appreciate it. I know to help out the uh, channel for me. Uh, all right. Yes, thank you. My first item it is a 16 inch necklace with a two inch extension. I'm going to show you the back first. There's the back with an extension. It is lobster clasp on the back. You have a whole bunch of little beads here. These are AB crystals. I'll do this again so I can close it to show you the front. This will be number 136. And there's the front of it. Nice and cold to the touch. You also have these right here on both sides here and here. And you have these little beads. And then these are all, all C, oh, AB crystals. And then, of course, it goes around the back as well. All along the back and I'm going to show this off the card so you can see it there's your clasp extension and then you got all your beads your turquoise and you have the pendant at the bottom and it does turn Put it back on the display. And there you go. And you can see the two different little designs. There's a little uh, stripes inside here, the more veins. Is that magnesite? No, it's all. Uh, I'm having a brain freeze. Turquoise. Okay. These and these are turquoise. Okay. And yes, they are nice and cold to the touch. Mona did what? Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome. How are you doing, <laughs> okay. Mona? Good morning. Listen to you. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. My next lot, and it's a lot. These are number 16. And this is a buy it now. This will be claimed by number 16. And I have a tray 
two, three, four, five, six, seven bottles, cobalt blue bottles. Seven total. And I'll go through each one and show you. This is the first one. This one does say for headaches. Bromo seeding. Bromo seeding is at the bottom. That's written at the bottom. And it says for headaches on the other side. For headaches. And this is looks like a little old Coca-Cola bottle, but it's cowboy blue. And it is with the bottom um, 444 is the marking on the bottom on this one. There's the first one. Then we have this one. This one's a, a Maryland a, a, comp, a glass company. It's got the M at the bottom. It's cute little bottles. These are all medicine bottles. Then we have the Vixab or Vax, Vixab Rub. It is in a octagon bottle. There is no crep, no chips, anything on these. Then we have this bottle. It also has a smaller hole at the top. Also another Maryland company, glass company. This one has no markings. It looks like a little old milk jug. Then we have this Vixab, Vixab bottle. It's the typical round one. And then I have the miniature one, which never I never seen this until I saw this one. That's the miniature one. And yes, it is oh. Vix Rub, a logo at the bottom. It's got the little cute little bottle. So you get all seven of these for buy it now. It's it's 16. You get all seven. Including this little miniature one. Those are beautiful. A lot of people line them up in their, uh, like in their window. So it Last like year, I went to a citywide garage sale, and this lady had so much of it. I offered her one, offered her one price for it. Well, she had, gave me a price, and I, I couldn't take my money out of my, my pocket fast enough. But I bought a whole <laughs> bunch of them. She had a big collection. And again, you get all seven of these in this lot. Thank you, Jennifer. You lay these down so you don't fall on me. All right, that was number 16. My next one is zero 01. Uh, let's see here. There we go. These are some jadeite flower carved stone pierced earrings. All right, this will be zero zero 001. They are pierced earrings. There's the back, the post. And here's the front. They keep turning on me. Reminds me of Hawaii. Those are beautiful. Are those, uh, those look like they might be um, jade, no? Jade eye? Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. The, for some reason, there you go. That's the true color right there. They do hang. And they're nice and cold to the touch, too. And you can see all the carvings in the, st in the stone. Great detail. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. And that was my three. All righty. <laughs> We're just flying through it. Yep. All right. So this past week we found these. These are crowned swans and they're screw back and they're sterling. I'm going to go down scope so you can see them a little bit better. I'm going to start these at, what did I write down? I'm going to start them at $20. They are crowned sw swans, sterling screwbacks, starting at $20. They are, all they say is the word sterling right here. And I don't know if they say it on the body part too. And I, yep, up in here, right up in there, it says sterling. And they're absolutely adorable. They are very cute. 
I don't know. I think I'd wear them this way, facing in. I'd wear them like that. Well, only the kings and queens of England can have, because all the swans belong to them. So that's why I think that they're crowned like that. I don't know. That's my, that's my opinion. Deborah, hi. That's my my sister from another Mister. <laughs> How you doing, Deborah? And who else didn't I say hello to? Mona, hey, how are you? <laughs> so, yeah, these starting at 20 bucks. If anybody was interested. <laughs> Deborah, you still, how's your courses going with the, uh, I think you were doing one on courses. Was you, were you doing one with pearls, I think? Hopefully that's going well. All right, I don't see anybody for these. So let's pass on those. All right. This one we found this week as well. This is beautiful. Very minimalist. It is a ruby. Um, it is natural because you can see the inclusions. I'll, and I'll go up close so you can see. Um, and it's set in sterling. It's a size nine and one quarter. I need to start this at $50. I'm going to show you the microscope, the microscope, my fingers marks off of there. So you could see all the inclusions. That's how you know it's real. Oh, we got a bonus hair on there. Lulu, what's happening? And I don't know if it's marked other than 925. Here's the 925. Here's the undercarriage. I'm sure it needs to be cleaned a little bit. It's a beautiful, simple ring. Um, 50. I'm going to five zero. Yeah, so that's a beautiful, beautiful ring. New old stock. I don't see anybody for that. I'm gonna go back in the box. <laughs> that's okay. I don't see. You thought? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. Yep, we're gonna pass. All right, and now this one, it was coming up in the um, emerald nephrite area of the uh, Presidium, and it is sterling. It is uh, nine and three quarters. It's just, it's so nice. Um, so I'm going to start this at $30. So yeah, that's what it's coming up in that area of the uh, chrysoprase. I always say that wrong. Emerald nephrite area of the, of the um, presidium. Hello. <laughs> Johnny says hello. It's it. it it's only marked 95 on the inside. Mona, you're leaving me. Oh, okay. Drive careful. Be safe. Suzanne's in for 30. I see you, Suzanne. There's the shank. It's a quiet night tonight. Finally. <laughs> Someone's going to break the ice. Going once. Going twice. Last call. It's also so. <laughs> Suzanne, thank you so much. <laughs> She's coming home to you. It is absolutely, 
absolutely stunning. Congratulations, sweetie. Uh, so I'm going to be doing all the, I didn't do any billing last week because it, there wasn't a lot going out. So I figured, you know, combine them this week and last week. And, uh, all right. And then I do have one more because we're doing three, right? Oh, did, was that my third? That was my third. That was my third. I thought that was your second. I'm sorry? I thought it was your second. Nope, that was your third. Okay. It was my third because I did the swans and then I did um, the, the ruby and then I did that. All right. Let me get to my numbers here. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean that. No, that's all right. I'm ready. I just got to get my numbers. <laughs> all right. This was 1194. It's quiet. 1194. Thank so you maybe? so much for breaking the ice, Suzanne. All right. Here is my first item this round. These is a vintage Sarah's Coventry. It is uh, from the 1968. This is from 1968. It is marked on the back, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. But there's the front of it. Those are cabochons and faux pearls. And then the back, you have your brooch and the little pendant right here to wear as a, as a pendant. And it is signed right there. Right there. Sarah Coventry, right there. And there's your back of it. You can see the cabochons behind it. And then there's your front. Let's see if I get a little bit closer. There you go. That's beautiful. That's almost as old as me. I only found a few like this that are actually pendants as well. Most of them are just brooches. I'm going to run to the ladies' room. So if okay. you have to do more than three, have at I it. I brought extras on just in case. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, this is from 1968. And if there's no answers, we can call that a pass. Yeah, we filed ours already. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Uh, put it back in a little bag. I keep everything in bags once it's processed. All right. The next one is choice. I do have two to choose from. This one is 12.05. Come on, work with me. All right, these are for choice. These are etched. Sarah comes here's a great sort of afternoon. Yes. Hello, Lou. How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome. Paste. Lulu. All right. I got them on. Let me show you each one separately. Because of the fact that I got them both on displays. All right. The first one. It Both of these have a spring ring clasp. The spring ring does is still great and functional with no problems. The chain, it doesn't even look like anyone has wore it. I mean, that's how clean it is. Yeah, there's your chain. It's got those little designs, like the little S. Squirrels, and here's your brooch. It is etched in the back of the glass. It is prong set. I'll show you the back. Look at the cage it's in. And it does have a double bezel at the top. There's the back cage. It goes all the way around, and it is all prong set. I'm going to show you real close again with the, the chain itself so you can see the design on the chain. That is choice number one. Number two, again, does have a spring ring clasp as well. 
The spring is ex excellent condition, works fabulous. It's one of those old vintage style ones. This is just your regular chain link type necklace. And this is your pendant. It does have crystals around both sides here and over here. It's a double circle. It does have a little crystal right here uh, as a brooch. And then I'll show you by taking them off so you can see them better through the light. There you go. You can see the I crystal. My, I love when my jewelry wears jewelry. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And you can see the little rose at the top. And there's a little crystal right next to her, ne her uh, neck as a brooch. And then here's the back of it. That's gorgeous. It's etched in the glass. That's choice number two. And this one is choice number one. I'll take this one off. And this is the cage that it sits in. There's the back of it. It does have the double bezel at the top. Both of these are spring ring clasp, and there's the front of it. And this one, she's looking. Suzanne's in for 22. Yeah. And so there's number, that was number one. The one with the rose is number two. Number one is the cage. Number two is the rose. They both are a spring ring clasp. You want number two, okay? That's still a fair one. She's still coming down. I can't rush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she says she wants number two, the rose. Congratulations. Anyone is interested in number one? It's all prong set in, in a cage. Congratulations, Susanna. Woohoo! And that was number two. S U Z A N N E. She said, follow me. <laughs> All right. Put these to the side. And I was panicking for a little while because I was in search for this belly dancer belt. I was, oh, my God. I can't find it. The last box I was looking at. I kept looking at it and didn't, didn't go in it. I just stared at it like, duh. <laughs> Jennifer's jealous. Where? She loved oh, that hey. one. Do what? Jennifer's jealous. She said she loved that. It was a beautiful one. Oh yeah. Okay, Jennifer. <laughs> you know I've done it once before. And again, that was on Mark and Mike's channel. All right. This is a fifty-five piece gemstones. It's tanzanite or lapis belly dancing belt. It is 41 inches long, 42 inches long. And it does have these neck uh, uh, braided ropes on both sides and they're beaded. I'll show you the beads first. They're all the way beaded all the way down. There's the backs of them. They do have the bells. And here is the front of it. There's a total of 55 gemstones. There's two rows of them. Can you shake it around a little? Girl, hold on. Let me, let me, <laughs> shake. Let me take my telephone. Yeah, I'm too I'm too short for y'all to see it on my weight. <laughs> so that's the closest you're gonna get to me shaking. <laughs> <laughs> shake it, baby, shake it. <sighs> So that's lapis? Yep. 
And how long is that? 42 inches long. There's a total of 55 stone. There's two rows of them. I'm measuring my, my way, my hips. When I bought it, it was set, it, told, it was told that it was a, a tanzanite, but when I tested it, it's lapis. Okay. Yeah, that's not the tanzanite. Pill. It is not tanzanite. That's what I'm saying. That's what it was labeled when I bought it. Oh. But it is 55 of them, and it comes up lapis. And it does, it does jingle. I got to lose some weight. <laughs> but what I did was I measured it from, from end to end. It came up to 42 inches. Let me make sure I do it again one more time. I'm going to take out my famous Tool Guys Vintage and Resell tape measurement. There you go. A shameless plug for Tool Guys. All right. Yep, that's correct. 42 inches. Is it like a hook or something on the end? No, it's a tie. You tie it. Okay. It's like a, a braided rope that they braid it. I mean, it's pretty long. And then you have all the beads in between each one. Bead it. And you have the V bottom. And you have all the bells. All right, thank you very much, Jennifer. And that was my three. I was very tempted, but it won't fit. Um, yeah, I used to. I used to belly dance. I break a hip. I used to belly dance when I was younger. Um, my mom couldn't get a babysitter, and uh, for my brother and myself, because my brother's out of his mind, so. I used to go with her to the to the, her um, belly dancing lessons, and I started at seven. I could add a rope. Yeah, I could. So, okay, this is a size eight and a half. This is a meteorite, actually, and it's set in sterling, and I need to start this at 45. How cool is that? It's an actual meteorite. And it's a size eight and a half. I'm going to start this at $45. This is really, really cool. So it's marked 925 down here. You used to roll your belly <laughs> and my. <laughs> oh, you forgot your hips already broke. I've had two hip replacements. <laughs> I probably shook them too much. <laughs> I was good. I used to compete. I, I was competing by the time I was 15. Um, there's a place in Boston, downtown Boston, called the, um, I used to dance at the place called the Shah Azad. And then I danced at the Middle East Club, which uh, people around the, these parts know, um, everybody knows the Middle East. Moldavite. I have Moldavite. I found some in my stuff. Um, I have six little pieces, I think. We found one on, uh, I didn't know what it was. Somebody told me. I don't see anyone here. <laughs> you could roll it up and down, <laughs> left and right. I used to be able to do that. And then I used to be able to pulsate it. It, I don't know. And now I just, I just have a big belly. <laughs> Oh, you had a pendant and you lost it. Oh, that's awful. My son can roll his belly too. It's funny. Just a lot of muscle control. All right. I don't see anybody for this, but it is really cool. I mean, um, so Jennifer, yeah, I do have some Moldavite. It's not, it's loose. They're not set in anything. All right, so we're going to pass on that. So this one, we found this one this week, I, I believe, as well. This is really cool. It is um, rhodium over sterling. It's a size 11. It's, um, it is signed. It's like a circle with a Y in it. 
I, I forget who that is. I used to know what it is, but that I believe these are Peridot and then these are black spinel. Let's start this at 26 bucks. I love the, I love the, um, the green, the light green with the black. It's so different. It really makes it pop, you know? And I can actually show you if you'd like to see what it says on the inside. Uh, 925 China. And then uh, that's the company right there. It's like a Y with the, I guess if I turn upside down, it looks like a peace sign. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I Yes, they are. It's Peridot. And then these are black spinel. There's the undercarriage. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, they are coming up. They are, I, I think they're Peridot. I mean, it's coming up. It's, it's registering on the Presidium. So. Really, really different. I mean, look how they pop. Snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> All right. I don't see anyone, so we're going to pass on that one. I like the cheese that goes. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that commercial aye. with the cheese? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> All right. Okay. We did find this one this week as well. Um, this is a size seven. She's like, pass, I guess, sadly. So we found this this week. Um, it is a size seven. It is Peridot and Opals um, set in sterling. And I'm going to go down scope so you can see it better. how beautiful that is and wow. yeah i you know you see it with the dark right with the spinel was one thing but seeing it with the white is is really really nice um so i need to start this at 60 at least 60 dollars um i believe i wrote down 70 but we're gonna we can start it at 60 it is a size seven Uh, I'm going to show, hold on one second. I'm going to go to the microscope and so you can see that it does have fire. Because it's kind of hard. Um, opals are so hard to see. Oh, there's a little bit of something there. Um, opals are very hard to see on camera. So you have to kind of do them in a, move them in a certain way so you could see. Just want to make sure you could see the fire. So, yeah. So, so pretty. There's the 925. Here's the back side. Now, I don't know if these are natural or not. Like, I have no idea. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, so there's some darkening there. I think these are natural. I mean, they're not the, the most brilliant ones, but I, I just like, I like, I like it. Ah, I like it. I wish it fit. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> Definitely a different, definitely a different ring. All right. And that would be my three. I'm going to go back to you now. Swing. Hello. <laughs> Here's Johnny. All right. Here's Johnny. My first item for this round is a Cora 
vintage signed Coral retro 1960s. Let me copy and paste. Very simple structure. Becky S. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome. How are you doing? Good to see you. All right. Hey, so Becky. Cora, clip on silver tone and white enamel earrings. There is a flower. There we go. There's the front of them. And then there's the back of them. Nice and shiny, nice and clean. And it is signed. Take one of these off. Tell me where I saw the signature here. It was hard to find the first time. I remember finding it. Bling, bling. Hey, friend, Colin. <laughs> I know it was on here because I remember seeing it. Oh, there it is. Right on the clip, Dodo. It's barely hard to see, but it's right here on the clip, right there across the back. I get it to focus. It's signed right there on the clip across. Yeah, it's very faint, but you can see Cora on the back of it. Right there. There you go. Cora. You got it. <clears throat> so I could get it in an angle. I'm so used to daylight where I didn't usually don't have that problem. But the enamel is only on the leaves. Everything else is still silver tone around the sides. Focus. There you go. Again, it's signed Cora. Cute design. Thank you very much, Jennifer. All right. My next item, because I rotate everywhere. 1207. Again, if you come back and rewatch the video and you see anything that you must have, make sure you email me and I'll be glad to take care of it. Make sure you claim the email with the item that I'll put in the chat. The item number. Because I put everything on invoicing the same way I'm doing my inventory. All right. These are for choice. You're going to pick one or the other, or whichever one you want. These still have their corks. These are made in Japan. This first one, actually, the unicorns are made in Taiwan. You have the little unicorn salt and pepper shaker with the gold tips. The tips are still intact. You got the eyes that are painted in blue. This is oh, so cute. Black. So you got the painted eyes. You got the little wells at the bottom. There's the other side, and they both have their corks. Never been used because you can see the corks are still clean. Made in Taiwan on these. Number two is Niagara Falls. Now, these are made in Japan. Niagara Falls in the little barrels. And at the bottom, it says, Singa, Singa, Windsor, Canada. There you go. And they both have their corks still clean. They don't even look like they've been used. Both have their corks. And there's the tops of them. They both have the exact same design. That's number two. And this one is marked Disney 1982. I guess I have to do the hand. 1982, Japan, Disney. These are the Epcot Center. They're both the same on both. And when you turn them around. <coughs> so that's number three. So we have three to Epcot Center. 
Number two, these are all clean, uh, brand new, still never used. The corks are all there. No chips, no cracks. These are Niagara Falls. Or we have, again, the unicorns. These are made in Taiwan. The other two are made in Japan. And you have the front and back of these corks on these as well. And these are made in Japan. The little unicorns. That's number one. I'm keeping an eye on the chick. <laughs> oh, that's one of those. Quiet. Last week was yeah. quiet too. I'm hearing crickets. I think I would have those uh, bugs that make noise at night. Mm. I forgot what they call them. A pain in the butt. Crickets. Yeah, you had it. Well, I'm talking about that other stuff that, that only comes out at certain times of the year. Cicadas? Yeah, them things. I don't miss them because I don't hear them around here. But in Louisiana, Lord Jesus, you can go to bed with the music from it. <laughs> Not. Okay. <laughs> Up here, it's more like, I think it's every seven years. Is yeah, I, didn't, I like haven't that? had any since we've been here. Was that no? You, you only did two, right? No, I'm still. I'm. I'm. We, we're talking, so I wasn't gonna rush the next piece. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Supposedly the worst year of them. Yeah, I haven't. Like I said, since I moved here, I haven't heard them. All right, this is considered a 1970s vintage Sarah Coventry quail feather leaf. And the difference Ooh. with this one is it has the clear the crystals at the top. They call this a wedding feather pin, like what you use at a wedding. None of the none of the crystals are missing. They're all at the top. And then there's the bottom. Excellent condition. And here's the back of it. That looks like new old stock. Yeah, it is. It is. And then this one is signed right there Sarah coming to you right there it is new old stock nothing missing all the crystals there there we go work with me what's up Harry Yeah, I did hear that, but I, oh, we have Wendy at a 16. Thank you, Wendy. The nice and sparkly, new old stock. Yeah, I heard that on the news. I think it was this morning they said that. Harry! Harry Hudson! <laughs> I always say his name like that. Harry! I don't and you know, know I do that too. I do. I don't know what it is. I've always done it like that. What's going do on? My ride? <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing. That's so funny. There you go. I don't know what it is about you, Harry. I don't either. I hope they were wrong. Yeah, right. All right, thank you very much, Wendy. And that was my three. Wendy. Wendy. And thank Ooh, you very much. I heard, some re I heard my own self. <laughs> Would you get me on there? No, I, I have nothing on background. Well, neither do I. I don't know. I have nothing on, just you and me and, and StreamYard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I, I just heard it for a minute. Okay. So I played a little bit of. Oh, you play with a little bit of jewelry this weekend. Okay. I found, well, I think I showed this, I showed this a while ago. This is a Nikki Butler. Um, it's a size 10. I'm going to go down scope so you can see. This is vintage Nikki Butler 
size 10. I need to start this at 65. This is a green amethyst. Peridot, regular amethyst, and green uh, chalcedony. Um, the largest, uh, the center one, which is a green amethyst, is faceted. And it is marked um, with Nikki Butler's, uh, there's the Nikki Butler mark. And then it says sterling. And what else does it say? I don't know. We can look at it really, really close. Closer yet closer still. India, 925. And there's the NB for Nikki Butler. And that is green amethyst. And then Chalcedony and regular amethyst. And some peridot. It's a beautiful, beautiful stone um, ring. Here's the undercarriage. And it is a size 10. What is she what is she laughing about? She looked at Harry's page. What uh oh. He got some free jewelry, really? Good for you. Good for you, Harry. Yeah, this is an absolutely beautiful ring. And believe you me, I thought about keeping it. It is definitely, I mean, Nikki Butler is very, like, these vintage ones are very, very um, sought after. I mean, I could list it for, oh, Suzanne's in at 65. I was going to say, I can definitely list it for twice as much. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I have a, a yep, we're looking for 70. I have uh, a Nikki Butler that has this shape, and the center stone is um, lapis. It's beautiful. Thanks so much, Suzanne. Green. Green uh, amethyst is just absolutely stunning. Going once, going twice. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Oh, it'll go with your other green ring. There you go. <laughs> Soul to Suzanne. Congratulations, sweetie. All right, let's do. Yay. Whoop. All right. I pulled out, I pulled out a high end, uh, bracelet that I actually had, um, found a while ago. Um, ready? And yes, that is rubies. It's all rubies. Let's go down scope and look at it. So this, this is how I found it. I found it in this box. It is, these are natural rubies. As you can see the inclusions. Um, those are diamond chips on, on the outside surrounding them. There is um, double safety clasps on each side here. It is a size seven and a half and it is set in sterling. I need to start this at $200. $200. It is absolutely stunning. So yes, around each one is a halo of of diamond chips. Yeah, I this is absolutely stunning. And I love that it has that it has, you know, the two-sided um 
safety clasp. Okay, I got it. There we go. Uh, there we go. And then that's the way it goes like that. Uh, let me show you the back. The construction is amazing. Absolutely beautiful. You, you forgot to type because you couldn't stop looking. I actually, I wanted to start the bidding at two, 260, but I'm like, well, let's just go to 200. And it is, it's a seven and a half. It is beautiful. Let's see. I have not cleaned it. I'm sure it would sparkle even. It will sparkle even more when uh, when it is cleaned. And I can show you that it glows. Let's douse some of the light here. Well, maybe it's not showing there. Ready? Does Ruby's glow? Try to put the light from the back side of it. On the back side of the bracelet facing the back of the bracelet. Well, if you do that, then it'll, you mean this way? Yeah. Oh. Mm. You see how you see it glowing? Yeah. You're so smart. You're so wicked smart. Yeah, they. it definitely glows. It's absolutely beautiful. And I did want to keep it, but I need to, I need to buy a house, so... <laughs> I need to sell, sell, sell. Yeah, because there's a um, lot of houses for sale around here now. Look at that. See, now that would be gorgeous right there. Right there. What about that? Uh, yeah, I saw a couple over in um, uh, in Templeton. All right, let me put this back in this beautiful box. It is a beautiful bracelet. We're going to pass. Now, y'all saw it. And if you have any questions or if you need me to send you uh, more pictures, just let me know. Like I said, it does need to be cleaned. Um, I don't clean the jewelry. It is, it just, it is stunning though. It is, it's wicked. All right. I should list it. There's so many, I... I need help listing. You should live near me, Johnny. Help me list. <laughs> this is so too much. All right. This one is only a six and a half. It's sterling. It is um, crystal stones with marcasites. I love marcasites. Hold on. Down let's go. How pretty is that? So let's start this at 22 bucks. We go from 200 to 22. We're just all over the place. Sounds like a song from country music. <laughs> and my dog died. <laughs> oh, all right. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is such a pretty, pretty ring. Hold on. If I live near you, I would help no charge. Yeah, I'll pay you in jewelry. <laughs> This is very different. It, I love the marcasites. Marcasites have grown on me since I've been uh, 
doing this, you know? I love Marcusites. Yeah, I, it really had, they really have grown on me. I really do like Marcusites now. So it looks like a yellow stone and a purple stone, but they are just coming up as like crystals. They're not, or CZs, whatever. Lulu's like, I would help you too. Lulu, Lulu, I see, uh, just like Jan says, Lulu, like uh, she helps on Wednesdays and she looks stuff up. And I'll tell you, I imagine her as like being um, that person from the Matrix that has all the, the screens in front of her doing this. <laughs> <laughs> She's so That's fast. Like I'm in somebody's auction screen. and I'm looking at stuff they're selling. <laughs> I got multiple tabs open and my double monitors going. Oh, geez. All right. Well, that was my my three. You just got to make uh, time to list or to do a listing show. Problem with the listing show. I mean, if I'm on with somebody else is one thing, but um, it's I can't keep looking at the, the chat because I'll get distracted. I need to. I, I, I'm the same way. Yeah. So that was my three. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> I jumped. There goes the snorkel. <laughs> I snorkeled. I love it. One to take a picture for the listing. Yeah, I uh, I do a. I've been doing a lot of processing with jewelry lately. All right, this first item is a vintage rose, gold, silver, and uh, black metal um, design. Now, I'm not sure exactly what it is because it's pretty sturdy and heavy, but I'm going to show you the back first. It is a brooch. It's a long brooch. You'll see the clasp right there. Now, this one does not go past the, the, the C clasp, and there's the front of it. Very, you very. Have the gunmetal in the middle. Then you have your silver tone and gold tone. And they're all shipped into hearts. Oh, I see it. And it is prong said it is a, uh, a crystal. Good night, Harry. Harry, good night. <laughs> and then it also has the, the little leaf right here at the bottom and the leaf right here at the side, right here. And then there's the back of it again. It's got some weight to it, but not a lot. And it is a um, an auburn color stone in the center. There you go. And it is prong set. And it does have a long stem. Even the leaves are shaped like hearts. Yep. Now you can see it really well in the back, the two leaves. And each leaf is, uh, each of the petals is a, a, a heart. You can see it as it lays down how thick it is. All right, thank you very much for looking. Yeah, All right, my next item is not a piece of jewelry, but it's a piece of Massachusetts. This is number 27. Uh, let's see, 27, 27. <laughs> Are you at 27? Yeah, 27. There we go. All right. This is going to be a buy it now. Speaking of gold rings. Oh, did anybody say rings? I'll probably not. Huh? All right. Claim this one by number 27. This is an NFL six golden rings. Patriots extra large t-shirt. It is Pit to pit, 24 inches. It is a new condition, and it's in lieu of the six Super Bowls that they have won. 
there's the whole picture here. And it says, here we are. Don't beat, don't beat against us. Don't bet don't, against us. Yeah. I'm don't reading it backwards yeah. on my screen. And you got all the year, all the different years they won a, a Super Bowl. It's called Six Golden Rings. Six Borel. Borel. Massachusetts. And of course, there's no writing on the back. It's Foxborough Stadium, so that's why they called it Six Borrow, I think. And it's uh, Gildan is the brand. It is an extra large. And it is a navy blue. Hello, how y'all doing over there? Hello? Hello? Hello, how you doing? <laughs> how your mom and them girl? <laughs> No football fans. I thought I saw we saw a lot of uh, Boston people, uh, bat, uh, Mats people here. Hmm. All right, then I'll go to fold this right back on up. Not a problem. Thank y'all for looking. And put my little number there. Now, my next one is a choice. I have a turn right here so you don't see it. This will be number 1201. Go back up. I know Jennifer football shirts. Personally, I would make fifteen dollars and lift it on football shirts. Personally, I would market fifteen dollars. Well, what I'm doing is I'm bringing it to the auction first. If you have a problem, with it, you will know that I don't bring anything more than three times. On that third time, if it doesn't sell, it gets listed. And I already usually have everything in a draft ready to go. But I'm just trying to pass some savings on the others because I've got it for a good price. So I'll give it to you for a good price. But if not, it's going online and that's when I get my full bucks. I'll let it, you have it for no problem. But now I'm going to go online. All right, 1201. And that's, I what I, that's what I usually do. But after that third, third time, it's getting listed. Like anything this weekend that I don't sell this week because I have three auctions, it's getting listed. But that's a good idea. And that's what I do. All right, this next one is a choice. These are all statement pieces. So number one is all crystal, and here's the back of it. It does have an extension, but I do have it full out all the way. It's a lobster clasp right there, lobster clasp. And this is the front of number one. This one is 18 inches long. And I'm assuming this right here is... Um, Either resin or acrylic. No, it's got to be resin or plastic. But anyway, look at all the rhinestones. They're all there, all prong set. Lovely. All the crystal stones are there. That's number one, 18 inches long. Number two, this one is 20 inches long with a three-inch extension. Lobster claw. There it is right there. It is a three inch extension. And this is the front of it. Wow. You got your little crystals here. And in between each of the, 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 the beads here. And this also is probably either plastic or um, resin. But your crystals are all there. And number three has this type of chain. It's a vintage spring ring clasp. The spring is excellent on it. I do have it fully expanded. You ready for this? This one is 16 inches long, so it's like a choker. I'm going to show you that the chain stops right there. Ready for it? Wait for it. Oh, my. These right here are all crystals on this little piece here on both sides. And then these have a little curve to them. But they also articulate it because these right here move. Nice. These right here on the side, they move. Same thing on this side. This one right here move. They move. But anyway, all the crystals are there. 
That might even be a 50s vibe, Lulu. Yeah. And then right here, if you notice on the little pieces that come down, they're all crystals. There's three rows of them. Beautiful. On the and that's like um, on what do they call that chain? Is um. I'm not sure. I, I hardly ever see these too much. Um, it's supposed to be like um. What's it called? So on a tank, the tank. You know, they have the treads on the. Um, that moves the tank, like in the military. Uh huh. I think that's what um, I think it's supposed to be something. Book chain. I don't know if it's book chain. Book chain is um, is a little bit different. So there's a side view of the little connections there. That one's number three. That's 16 inches. Railroad track chains. This one's a 20 inch with a three inch extension. That's number two. All the crystals are there in place. Or number one is an 18 inch. This reminds me of um, Lucite, but it's not. And again, all the crystals are there. They're nice. It almost looks like a shell. Yeah. yeah. Pretty. It's got that iridescent look to it, almost like a mother of pearl design. Right, right. But it reminds me of blue sight, but it's not. All right, and that was my three. Well, all righty then. When I get my mouth full, you know what I mean? <laughs> I am addicted to these. They're, these should be outlawed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back here chomping away. <laughs> oh, Mia, where are the earrings from the preview? Um, the earrings, which ones? I had, uh, there was a ton of them. Which ones, honey? Um, hi, Warren. How are you, sweetie? Yeah, stop. The Starburst. These are addicting. They're addicting. I love them. I'll eat the whole bag. <laughs> it's awful. Clip on blingy with pearls. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see what I got for... The earrings. Um, those ones are emeralds. Clip on, blingy with pearls. Oh, you were going to start them at thirty-five. The what? Whichever one they wear. JY says you were going to start them at thirty-five. Um. All right. Oh, here they are. Yes, the clip-ons with the milk glass and the microsites. Is that the one you were talking about? Blingy with the... Because uh, these ones don't have pearls. I these, This is like a milk glass. And these are from the 1930s. And these are made in Germany. Um... Hold on. Look at these. It's like a thistle. Do you know what I mean? Look at those microsites. Absolutely stunning. I think I, I, I would wear them this way. Let's go down scope and look at them a little bit closer. Closer yet closer still. All right. So, yes, these are a milk glass, hold on, with marcasites, and they are clips. These are made in Germany. These are from the 1930s. I think that's where um, they're very unusual. It says, it says the word sterling, not 925, and then Germany. Um, and so I have to start these at 50 because of the research 
Um, but they are from the 1930s. So I think that's where you got the, I was going to start at $30, but um, actually what I wrote down is I was going to start at 60. <laughs> but um, Yeah. Let me show you what it says. I want to show you up close. These are absolutely amazing. All the marcasites are there. Everything is there. Nothing is, is missing. And then hold on. So this is there. It says Germany and the word Sterling. And again, these are from, yeah, they're antique. They're just absolutely stunning. And they're so different, you know, just very, very different. And I had them on, they felt, um, they felt very comfortable. See how pretty they are? And, or you can wear it facing in. Aren't those pretty? And they don't hurt. It's very, they're very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. So, yeah, I've never seen anything like them. It was, they were very hard to look up. Very hard. Hi, Suze. What's going on? Look at these earrings, aren't they? They're just stunning. Anyone else? Jay Wise. Very excited. Suze. Yeah, I really like them. Fair warning. The old market sites always seem better and pretty. Yeah, right? Right? Sold to JY. Congratulations, sweetie. Thank you for reminding me um, of those. And uh, let me just write down JY 50. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna love them. And yes, I I feel the same way about marcasites that they they look the older ones just are just so much better than the ones that they have now, I think. They almost look like they're, they're so sparkly. And I didn't clean these. These still aren't cleaned. So hey Glenda, how are you? So congratulations, JY. All right. So I did pull out um so I'm not sure about this, but I'm just going to do it. This is an amazing bracelet. So I think this is glass. I think the green is glass. And then you can see it is gold tone with a spring ring. There's the clasp. There it is. Spring ring clasp. Um, it's a size seven and a quarter. Uh, it is not magnetic. I'm going to start this at $40. We were thinking it was Edwardian. I don't know. Let's go down scope. So book chain uh, is almost like, like when it's like that, but um, I mean, it almost looks like that. I don't, I wish I had book chain with me, but there's two different textures. This one has um, the lines this way. And then this one is almost like rope like. And let me see if it looks better on the white. It's just so different. I mean, I think, I think it's glass. 
I don't know how I can tell. <laughs> It's Your got some weight. Let you know if it's glass. What, honey? The presidium would let you know if it's glass. It's not moving at all. And it does move a little bit when it's glass. You have a question in the chat about Rebecca would like to see the Celtic necklace also. The Celtic necklace. Um, uh, the one that we found last week, last Wednesday. Let me look. Let me look into my, was it, I'm trying to think. Was it a Celtic pendant? I suppose it's a necklace. Trying to think. Oh, was it necklace with the pendant? I don't know. Necklace. Trying to think which one that is. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know which one it is. Um, all right. I don't see anybody for this one. We're going to pass. All right. The Clada. Okay. Yeah. I got that right over here. Hold on. So this is the one you're talking about. So this was on a, I, I tested it by the way. You can see that I, I rubbed it on that end. This is sterling, and then the necklace that it was on was not. Um, so I was going to put it on a silver chain, unless you want it on. What kind of chain was that? I think it was just, um, a, I think it was 316, you know, the stainless steel. Um, if you want it on the stainless steel, I can give this to you because this is the old clatter. This is like the old school clatter. I can give it to you for, I can start it at um, like 16 bucks. But if I give you a still sterling chain, it's going to be more than that because, you know, sterling chain. Let's see. Let me grab. I can put it on. This is. And it is old and very, very tarnished. But yeah, if you want to start it at 16, we can do that. Can't get that in there. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Uh, Rebecca says, no, it was round. It was round. I don't know. A round clatter? Oh. I think I know what you're talking about. Let me see. Oh, yep. I found it. Got it. This one. This one. Yep. So this clatter is sterling. Uh, it's on a 20 inch um, chain, sterling chain. That is, um, this one is what you're talking about, right? Yep. <laughs> She's like, yep. <laughs> um, okay. So this one I I wrote down $32. We're going to start at $32. So it's a sterling chain. And um, this is sterling as well. The clad is sterling. So we'd like to know if you can show it closer. Sure. Closey it closes still. It's in fine shape. Uh, 
and it says the word Sterling. It's not 925, so you know it's older. My fingerprints are all over it. And then here's the chain. It's in fabulous shape. It's a spring ring, and I think it's, let's see. This is a, definitely an older chain. It says STG for Sterling, and then Ace, A, Ace, A Company, Ace. So let's go back this away. Yeah, she's beautiful. So 32, that's what I'm starting it at. Rebecca's in at 32. I see you, honey. Yeah, this is in really, really good shape. Let me just wipe my fingerprints off of it. Very shiny. Shiny, shiny. Looking for 34. Yeah, it's and it's a 20 inch chain, so it's yeah. I think we can count it down. And when you're done, she wants to see that other one closer to the one you originally showed. This one, okay. I can do that. Fair warning and sold, sold, sold to Rebecca. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for um reminding me about pieces. I try to bring up um, the ones that, you know, that we went through. So 32 and it's for Rebecca. Thanks so much, honey. All right. And then, so what was, how many, how many did I show? Was that two? Or three? Go back and show that one that you originally showed her. Okay. That one. She wants to see it up close. So this one is much smaller than the other one uh let me get my it's just really tarnished and it does not say sterling or 925 on here it might have said it because this is a different this i think uncle put that spring ring on this here um but I did test it. You could see that um you see how shiny it is on that end. See, it's not on this end. I tested it early. It was testing for sterling, as sterling. So it'll shine up really pretty if you if you wanted it to. And so I have uh it was on just a regular um what is this stainless steel chain that's what it was on earlier and if you really if you want it on a um a sterling chain it'll just be more we were started at 16 and just trying to thread the needle i can't do it hello little debbie <gasps> hi little debbie what's going on girl What's happening? Anyone? Okay, so if I understand if you're not, if this is not your thing, it's not your jam, just a lot different. The other one is absolutely stunning though. Oh, Rebecca's in for 16. So would you like this chain? I'll put it on after. I had it, I had another one. I don't know if I just dropped it or. I got too many things out. <laughs> I got too much stuff out. That's not like me this morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It is really, really cute. I just made a whole little knot. Look what I just did. I don't know how I just did that. <laughs> Sold to Rebecca. Thank you so much. And I will I will put it on the chain after. And 16, Rebecca. Let's 
Thank you so much. Um, what I did pull out was uh, a bunch of bracelets. That's what I had pulled out initially to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> we found this bracelet on Wednesday. So this is my third, I think, right? Yeah. And I know you like the stone. This is one of your favorites. Yes. Mystic Topaz. Yeah, Mystic Topaz. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Mystic Topaz. We found this on Wednesday. Um, it is the STS company. It is, this is sterling. Um, I believe it has rhodium over the sterling and it's a size seven. I need to start this at $60. This is a really, just press the button. And up in here is where it says STS 925. He bought a lot of stuff from STS. And then um, he also bought a lot of stuff that, I don't know. He's, Uncle's taste was just impeccable. That's the first time I see Mystic Topaz that has more of a blue color. Is this maybe the way the light's hitting it? Yeah, it's like blues and greens. Um, it's going right up to Topaz. Yeah, usually it does show Topaz. Goes right up to Topaz. The ones I have have more of a purple tint to it. Really? Yeah. When it's clean, it's purple and green. Oh, like yeah. This is color. more like this is more like um, blue and green. Hold yeah, on, because then at six, girl, you got Rebecca in at sixty. That is beautiful. Yeah, it's got that more of a blue color. Yeah, it's yeah, it's. And it's almost like, um, hold on. Yeah, there's a lot more blue. There is a little bit, like you'll get a little, sh um, little bit of purple here and there, yeah. and then a little bit of, of the uh, like an orange. Yeah, but it's mostly the blue and the green. My. Um, so here's the side. And then here's the under beautiful setting. Yeah. Oh, you can see purple under that way. Yep. I can sure do. I can see it now. Yeah. Um, and there it is. 925 STS is the company. And it's in lovely shape. Very, very lovely. It's definitely different. Yeah. Yeah, and Uncle loved things that were different, so. Fair warning, and sold, sold, sold to Rebecca. Congratulations. Congratulations, Rebecca is racking up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rebecca. Beautiful pieces. Yeah, they really are, and... um. I know you've gotten pieces from me, Johnny. I sure have. They are very and they're very, very excellent quality. And if something is flimsy or thinner than I'm used to, I will tell you. Like this is thinner or E L T. Okay. Yay. I'm so excited. All right. It is Johnny's turn. Where's my cursor? There it is. And everything I've ever gotten from you is already listed or sold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this was really, really nice. We found this on Wednesday. It's wow. hard that because you and I go live at this around the same time. I think I go on an hour before you. Yeah, you start at 12, but I'm usually running around getting lunch before my show at one. Right. Yeah. And then nine, nine times out of ten, I catch the replay. Oh. Yeah, if there's anything, you know, you know, I got you if there's something that you're looking at and or... oh, I'll let you know. I got your number. 
<laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I'm still waiting to make arrangements to come and do a personal shop with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, we're going through stuff and it's just I know. Like it's a lot much. of work. All right. So my first item this round is a vintage 1950s Victorian style coral signed cameo. They are prong set. And this one, her nose is pointed. I'm going to show you the back first. There's Cora right there. It's new old stock, nice and clean. There's the back of it. And this is the front of it. And you'll notice the roses on each peak. It's like a clean color. So pretty. And it's got the little roses on each tip, top and bottom. There you go. And on each side, there's roses. And the cameo is prong set. And this one, her nose is pointed. And I'll show you the back. Trying to get that picture. That's where it's focusing. There we go. And there's the back of it. And again, there's the front of it. And you see all the roses on each side. And it is prong set. Get my cursor off that area. There we go. I'm going to go, um, usually around this time, I go and take my medicine. <laughs> okay. So I'm going I'm to be right back. All right. All right. That's a pass. Thank you for looking. All right. This next one. And I want to say it's pronounced Maka. Micah. Micah, you could also wear it on a stylish hat. Yes. 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 That is true. All right. This one is a statement piece. It's Micah, M-I-K-A. I'll show you the tag first. Come on, focus. There's a the tag right there. M-I-K-A. It does have a lobster clasp. And this is the front of it. There we go. And these are um, enamel, oh, not enamel, um, resin. That's what they feel like, resin. It could be plastic. It's Mika. M I K A is from 1950s. You have your blues, your red, the yellows, orange, and greens. So Mika. I'm trying to know that little saying that goes with some other. Um, can't remember. Oh, and the chain itself is 18 inches long. The necklace, the, the draw, the whole necklace is oh, 18 inches long. All right, thank you very much. All right. Let me get this off of here. My next one is a lot. I put this together because it's a mixture of brooches. The one is a pin. 
And it came in this little box, so I'm going to ship it in this little box. It has a little original old-time cotton. All right, we're going to start with this vintage Avon hairpin. It's a stick pin. It is marked Avon. Right there, Avon. And this is the front of it. It almost looks like there's a little crystal stone right in the center. That's number one. And you get all of these. So that's the first one. This one is a brooch. There's the back of it. And you can see the brooch. Is that filigree look? And there's the front of it. It's got three full pearls on it. It's a bow. And they are prong set, by the way. All the full pearls are prong set. I didn't. Oh, I sure didn't. I'm just running my mouth. Thank you, Jennifer. I don't know what I do without you, girl. 1198. I'm going to be running my mouth. And she's like, you didn't put it in there. No, I didn't. All right, here we go. A rookie mistake. All right, here we go. Thank you so much for pointing that out to me, Jennifer, because I, I was just going, going on like I done did it. You know what I'm saying? All right, what that's happened? panel number one. I forgot to put the little list of what I, because Jennifer knows I usually cut and paste and put it in the chat. I didn't do it. And I'm over here talking about everything I got in this lot. <laughs> that's the second one. The pearl, the full pearls. I'm saying full pearls because I don't know if they're real, uh, but they're prong set. And you'll see when I shape it to the side, you'll see the prongs. That's the second piece. This one is a wreath. It is also a brooch. Oh, guys. Why is my camera having all of a sudden of an issue? They're not used to me being up this late at night. That's what it is. <laughs> all right, there you go. It's a brooch. And then the front has all different size full pearls. And I'm saying full pearls because I don't know if they're real. But they're full of pearls. Different sizes, different so little ones. Pretty. That's the second, that's the third piece. Then we have this little one that it's another wreath. There's the back of it. Oh, that focused immediately. You see how the pen goes past the, the uh, C uh, clasp? And the front is flower enamel, enamel flowers. So pretty. And I think this one, there's some kind of little beads inside the flowers, but I can't tell what they are. So anywho, and then the rest is acrylic. I mean, enamel. That's the second one. The third one, one, two, three, that's four. I can't even count. And the fifth one for this lot, it's a vintage brooch. There's the back of it. We've got some hair. Oh, that's from the cotton. Yeah, it's got a little fuzz on it, yeah. Yeah, it's sitting in the original cotton that it came in, so I'm leaving it in there. Uh, is that is old it, fashion? Oh, yeah. It's got that old-fashioned cotton in there, so I'm leaving yep. it in there. That's what it got caught on. All right, so there's the back of it, now that we got cotton off of it. <laughs> and then this is the front of it. Give my special little tool. <gasps> Moon glow. Yep. And all the that, crystals are all uh, prong set. That is including so the moon, cool. even the moon glows are all Ooh. prong set. And that's the fifth one. Yeah, they are pretty popular, and I got a lot of them too. I haven't even I haven't even gotten to a box that I have a lot of them in, uh, all new in box. So you get all of these five in this one box. It, it yes, yeah, a snowflake. My mom used to say that she sold it, sold Avon, mm -hmm. but there are so many boxes of brand new, or just brand new old stock, just 
boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. Oh, I got plenty of them too. I bought somebody's uh, whole a lot out. Eighteen eighty six. Everything is in their like their own boxes. Oh, they started it they, really. I didn't know that. Avon started in 19, 1886. I didn't know that. And that was my three. Okay. I thank you so much. I had to usually around around nine fifteen or so. I my alarm goes off and I I'm like it's medication time. Medication time. <laughs> I All have, right, um, so I'm going to do my little run in real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, sure, honey. So I'm going to actually do a, a giveaway. I'm going to give this away. This is like a loose site. And it's, I think it's like from the 70s, I think. She just looked it up. Okay, so it's got a spring ring here. This is not real sterling. This is just silver tone. It is in fabulous shape. I think it is. Oh, it is not mag. Well, yeah, it is a tiny bit magnetic. But look at it is a reverse. Um, it is a, a intaglio, and then even this piece down here is is an intaglio as well. So. I'm going to give this away. Hold on one second. We're going to give it away, give it away, give it away. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me going. I got it, I got it. Do, 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 do. Isn't that pretty? All right. So let's do, let's do hashtag. Where's my, oh, I didn't bring up my giveaway. Da, da, da. Hold on one sec. Giveaway. What is the indiglo of of? Uh, let me show you. Let's do the live and hashtag. I'm gonna make it easy. And we're going to do hashtag win. So it is, it looks like, I think it looks like um, Cupid. Cupid and I forget who that is. And then I believe the one down the bottom, I think is could be, I don't know if it's Mercury or it's one of the gods. Um, it's one of them. I, I'm not sure which one it is. It's really pretty though. And it looks like it's, it looks like it is, um, you know, uh, smoky quartz, and it's not. This looks, uh, yeah, that's lucite or some sort of plastic. It's it's in great great shape. It's definitely older because you know you got the spring ring and everything, and it is not marked, which is unusual. So let me share my screen. Hold on one second. Because we're going to give it away, give it away, give it away now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. <laughs> so we've got 12 entries. How many people we got here? Let me um, let me refresh. Everybody refresh. I'm refreshing. I'm refreshing. I'm not... mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Hey, Jane. How are you doing? So anybody can enter. Um, you just have to be a um, a subscriber. That's the only that's the only thing because um, it's subscriber only. And um, other than that, you don't have to purchase anything. You could just be coming by and saying hello. Hi, Grace. What's going on? So um, yeah, sure. If you're lurking, hi, lurkers. 
Sure, hashtag win. Right, Warren? <laughs> All right. Let's go five, four, three. Get your hashtag in. Get your hashtag in. Three. You Come on, I'll wait. Be in it for your chance to win it. Win it. Come on, Jane. Hashtag win. Come on. Jane got it in there. Oh, she did. Good, good, good. Hello, Barbara right. Phillips. Yep, Barbara got it. She's in there. I see it. Okay, why, Lindsay? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. And here we go. Thank you, Jennifer. Round and round and round we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. I can't wait to see. <gasps> Grace and Mrs. Scissors! <laughs> I love it. Congratulations, sweetie. Grace Vintage. Do I have your information? I think I do. Congratulations. All right. Let me get off of this page and I'm going to double check and make sure. Okay. You can't see. So I'm going to check my, I think, do I, if I don't have it, just send me your, um, your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal. Uh, well, you, just your email and your address if you want. Hold on. It's 2024. And. Okay, there we go. Where's my customer list? Thanks so much, everybody, for coming. I, I, appreci I appreciate you so much for being here. Um, I love our Monday nights. I love our Monday nights. And we've got Johnny. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a little punchy now. Um, let's see. Uh, Grace. Uh, yes, I do. I have your information, Grace. We are you are all set. I'm gonna send that out to you. Yay! Uh, you had sent it. Yep, I, I got you. You're all set. Yay! All right, so this is coming to you. It's really, really pretty though. I mean, it's so vintage. I mean, it's gonna go with anything. Johnny, how you holding up? You tired, sweetie? <laughs> Did he fall asleep? What happened? I'm surprised he's up this late and he had no nap. All right. So my three things, I've got, I got some bracelets. It's a really cool vintage piece. So congratulations, Grace. Um, so I have these gorgeous bracelets and they are sterling. There's one, I have three different ones. Um, I guess we could just do I think we could just do, um, hold on, down go. Yes, somebody called. Hi, Papa James. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. So, Did somebody call me? Oh, no, I was asking how, how you're holding up because it's late. Oh, I, I, I told you I'd be right back. I had to go do a run. Yeah, and, and I, of course, I'm like, <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking and, and yeah, I'm here. So I have these gorgeous, gorgeous. I just, yeah. So this, so this is actually just glass and it looks oh. like real topaz. It is not coming up as anything. It's just, and so they are faceted. They are prong set and there is a lot of sterling in here and you would never know. You would never, ever know. This is absolutely stunning. And it has the two um, safety clasps on, you know, one on each side. So there's actually three different ones. And I guess, and I'd like to start them at $60. And I think I'm going to put them all out instead of 
do them one at a time. So this one's a seven and a half. This one. So they're CZs, I guess. I guess they're CZs. Because look at this one. That's champagne color. And those are, again, uh, prong set. It's all sterling. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, why is it not going? And then the, the last one. Let's, oh, what size is that? So the blue facet is seven and a half. The champagne color is seven and three quarters. And then I have a clear one. Look at how rich is that? Those are CZs. And this one is a seven and a quarter. So they all have double um, safety clasps. But look at how beautiful they are. Look at those. So let's start these at 60. And it's for choice. And I mean, I don't know. These are just, they're just gorgeous. I'm going to very, very sparkly. Look at those. I'm dripping, girl. I am dripping. Look at me. They're so blingy. And I'm a big girl. And these actually, I can actually wear them. I believe you me, I thought about it. Aren't they gorgeous? If you want, I'll get the, um, I can get my caliper and tell you how big these stones are. Because they are, they are a good size. And it is a lot of sterling. It is a lot of sterling. Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's go back down here. So these ones are, let's say, 10 millimeters by, let me do an end one so I can try to. By 16, the champagne color is going to be at 10 by 10 by 10. And then the blue is 10 and 1, 6, uh, 10 and 1, 17, or 10.17, whatever millimeters by 14. Ooh. There we go, 14. Yeah, these are really good size. And then look at, they do, they're very large. Um, you know, they go down into a point. All of these are very well done. And then these are crazy. This one is obnoxiously blingy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Suzanne's like, I'm out of money. What about the layaway plan, Suzanne? <laughs> yeah, but these these are definitely, definitely heavy. Uh, there we go. Very, very blingy. Darling. <laughs> All right, I don't see anyone. Let me put these back in here. Clear goes in here. So if you're watching back later um, and you see something that uh, speaks to you, you like the yellow, but it's too big. Oh, maybe. Uh, I mean, they are sterling. I don't know if they can take out a link. I mean, I'm not a jeweler, so I wouldn't know how to do that. Um, okay, so that was one because that was choice. Um, is there anything else from the other day that uh, people were interested in? Let's see, what is this? Emerald spiral. Oh, these you were nice. Second, you have a question. Uh, Lori would like to know what was the length? The length on which one? Because they were different lengths. Um, the champagne colored one 
was seven and three quarters. The blue was seven and a half. And the clear was seven and one quarter. Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. All right. These are brand new. They come in a box with its own little bag and everything. Uncle, I think, put these little pieces so they wouldn't tarnish. But these are um, these are sterling with emeralds. And there's all clear spinel all around them. They're stunning. Very elegant. Let's start these. I have it for 60. Um, let's start them at 50. These are, let me pull this out. Let me whip this out. <laughs> Remember, um, what, what movie was that? Um, Blazing Saddles. These are absolutely stunning. So it's surrounded by, uh, white or clear spinel. And then that is registering as emerald. <laughs> She's like, I'm done playing bingo. I won 50. Oh, you won. She plays bingo while she watches. Congratulations, honey. So these are absolutely stunning. Let me show you. It's the green thing going on. It's marvelous, my dear. Marvelous. Um, uh, wait, what was it? The whippy? It, um, blazing saddles. He went to pull um, the proclamation out of his out of his shirt, and he said, uh, "Hold on, or uh, something." While I whip this out, and everybody went, "Ah!" <laughs> he was just pulling out the proclamation. Yeah, these are absolutely stunning. No, Lindsay, I'm still here. Congratulations, by the way, on winning bingo. Yes. So I don't see anybody for these. These, they're very, very elegant. Um, so we're going to move on. I got one more thing to show you, and then it's going to be Johnny's turn again. Let's see. Uh, where's my elastic? What else can I show you? Is there something that I, um, you guys are looking for from Wednesday that I didn't pull out? Oh, this one. Now I don't, I didn't put it on a chain. Do you remember this? Wow. This is huge. Okay. It looks like a, a Christmas ornament. This is all sterling. This is 27 grams of sterling. It is marked 925 um, G as in George, M as in Mary, GM. And um, it's two and a quarter inches with the bale. I have to start this at $80 because of the weight of this. This is heavy. 27 grams. And it's it's not, it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart, darling. Look at that. That is some bling. There's my third eye. Doesn't it look like it's got a snowflake in the middle. It looks like you can see through it too. Yes. Well, that's what all the, that's all the CZs. Down scope. So yeah, that's all the CZs. See them? I mean, nothing's missing. This is brand new. Um, it's marked there nine two five, and then a G, as in George, G and an M. And these are all prong set. Actually. 
Let's go closer still. 27 grams. That's a lot. See, they're all prong set. Almost like a pave, but not quite. Very, very pretty. Very shiny, very blingy. Where's the, okay. GM and the 925 is a little hard to see. But if you want, I'll, I'll do the testing again if you like. Absolutely stunning. I don't think there's any other writing on this. I think this is it's rhodi, rhodium over sterling, but I can't be sure unless uh, I scratch, scratch, scratch it. It is, it is stunning. I don't think I'd wear it on a torque. I think I'd wear it on something long, you know? Come on. Nope. There we go. <sighs> Sadly, pass. Okay. All right. You're up. Hello. I'm back. <laughs> Hello. All right. My first item. It is a quartz. Um, I call this a bouquet of flowers. It has a C clasp on the back of the brooch. If I can get it to focus. There we go. It has a C class closure. There's the back of it. And this is a little bouquet of crystals. There we go. Now we're talking cooking with Earl. You're cooking with you Earl? Little, you have the little teardrop one at the bottom. <laughs> then all the different size crystals all the way around it. Very pretty. There we go, right there. You're going to be yawning at your morning show tomorrow. Nah. <laughs> I, drink, I drink a whole bunch of coffee before I get started anyway. <laughs> what time do you get up in the morning? 2.33 o'clock, sometimes 3.30 at the latest. Whew. No alarm clock, just natural. Even on the weekends when I do stay up late. When did you start doing that? It always. And when I was in the Navy. Really? Yeah. Why is just a habit? Military. Oh, watch me. All right. Thank you all very much for looking. My next one is, this one is AB Crystals. This one's number 39. Oh, I know what I just did. She's saying 4.30. You're going to get up at 4.30, not 3.30. Uh -uh. No, that's too late for me. No wonder you get so much done. It must be nice to be able to focus when the world is sleeping. Oh, I get so much done in the morning. No calls interrupting. Nope. I get it started. My cup of coffee gets me answering uh, when I first get started. It's always... Uh... Okay, I know what I did wrong. All right, let me just do this. All right, uh, okay. usually I get started with coffee and then I answer my emails, that kind of stuff. All right, again, this one's the same. It's got the C-class closure in the back. I don't know why. I guess it's not used to me being up this late. There you go. There's a C-class closure. It's got that filigree look. And this is the front of it. <gasps> so pretty. Bows are in. Everybody likes wearing bows now. Yep. It's AB Crystal.
beautiful sparkly AB crystals. Aurora Borealis. There you go. So pretty. Yep. Are those prongs set? Uh, no. No. Nope. Yeah, Jane was asking. No, no prongs. But they're all there. None are missing. Yeah, I was in the Navy on the USS Saratoga CV-60. My dad was on the USS Willis. He was a boiler man. I was a legal yeoman. And what did, what did you do? I was a administration. And then I went to a legal school in Rhode Island and became a legal man. So they put it as a legal yeoman. Oh. Okay. It's more like a uh, uh, paralegal. Okay. Yeah. My dad was a boiler man. He they put they put the cage in down in the down in the belly of the beast to work because he was a mechanic. That was mm -hmm. his, you know. So yeah, he worked on the um on the engines. Yeah, I worked in the office that was right underneath the catapult when the planes took off on the jet on the aircraft carrier. They had to warn us so we could put our headphones on and earmuffs and all that stuff to cover our ears. And then of course uh, that thing would stick on the walls. Wow. <laughs> uh, so did you jump in the water when you passed the uh, equator? Who? Not me. <laughs> I was in the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Um, you know what I'm talking about though, right? Mm -hmm. No, we didn't go there. Um, I basically, when I first started, I went to uh, meet the, the ship, the Saratoga in um, Naples, Italy. And I was able to see Greece, um, Egypt, Turkey, Rome, Paris, all the different places within um, the Mediterranean. Lovely. Yeah. Well, everybody's saying how um, their family members like were in the service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was Suzanne. in the U.S. Navy. Yeah, my dad was Navy too. If you look at my uh, YouTube, my uh, Facebook page, you'll see my Navy picture. That was when I had hair. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> All right, this is another Sarah Coventry, 1973. It is gold tone um, with pearls, faux pearls, a 24 inch necklace. It is signed and marked right there on the little clasp, the little tag right there. Mm hmm. It, for some reason, this one has double spring ring clasp. Why, I don't know. But it has three, looks brand new, new old stock. You have the three lengths of chain. There's three strands of regular gold tone chain and then the faux pearls. Now, the faux pearls have weight to it, but there's no uh, knots between them. But that is what I have here, and it's a Sarah Coventry from 1973. So... Do the ends, the end of each, uh, of each side has a spring ring? Yeah. Okay. That might go to a dress. Like they would put it on a dress uh -huh. and it would hang, it would be like attached to it. Um, sometimes now they would do. Interesting that I'm trying to figure out that I'm, I'm looking at this. Actually, the pearls are strands separately from the ring of the, but they both got its own little string. Do you see right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they doubled, they doubled. So it must oh. be for some kind of dresses or something. Yeah, I it might have gone to yeah on a dress or something like that. But yeah, they're they're two separate, but they both have their own rings. But then it, it goes together with the two uh, spring rings. And I've never seen that before until this one. Um, Char would like the AB ribbon pin. 
who? Char, C-H-A-R. And C-H-A-R. We're going to send your stuff to your information to Johnny. And if you could put that back into your, into the, I got to put that in the bottom too. Put that back in the, um, the chat so she can email you. All right, here we go. Actually, here's my form. If you want to just fill out my job form. There you go. Yeah. All right, that was for, how much I had that for? Eight? Yeah, eight dollars. Thank you so much, Char. That was number 39. Thank you very much. You got it. Oh, let's see. When, what do you mean only? Oh, that's Jennifer. Hi, Dana. Hello, Dana. Welcome. Got it. Thank you. All right. Back to our regular schedule program already in progress. Back to the <laughs> 89. And again, it does have the, the, the three uh, gold tone chains and you have your, your full pearls. There's some weight to the pearls, but there's no knots between them. Usually, I'm always aware of usually the knots are between each piece if they're real pearls. So I'm not, not sure about this one. Not Sometimes. necessarily because this one does have weight, but I, I'm not gonna agree. I ain't gonna grind nothing against my teeth. No, not <laughs> um, sometimes with tender. freshwater pearls, they will not be knotted in between. But wouldn't the freshwater pearls have a different shape to them? Not necessarily. It depends okay. on it depends on what little piece they because put in. Again, I'm noticing that certain pearls do have weight to it. And this one does. All right, thank you all very much for looking, and that was my three. Okay. Thanks so much, Johnny. Thank you. All right. So I I don't know how much longer I'm able to do this as well. <laughs> We're coming up on three hours. Girl, look, I can hang with the big boys. Yes, you can. <laughs> I but might go to bed I? early, but every now and then I do have a special occasion where even, even during the week that I do stay up late if I need to. And this was a special occasion. I am so honored that you came on. I, I love you so much, Johnny. You you not only helped me personally, but you've helped so many, so many other people. And that's what um, I get joy out of, helping others. Well, I love you for it. And I love you too. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you go to Vid Summit? No. Have you heard of that? That's, I know uh, it, but I've never gone to it. You Yeah, I just bought a ticket. Yeah, you and I were talking about that the other day. Yeah, well, I, I, I did, I, yeah. Yep. He Never does know, help bro. everyone. Yeah. I just, I pulled the trigger and I, I did it today. I booked my, uh, I booked my uh, hotel and everything, and my flight. These we found. Uh, these are cremets, cremets, screw back, gold tone. Angel skin coral earrings, and I don't know why, but um, oh, Johnny has a question. Can I get the belt buckle for eighteen dollars? Rebecca wants to know. May yeah, I'll let you have it with no problem. Wait, wait, where are you? There we go. You gonna let him let him have yeah, I would, it? I would take my camera off and my mic off when I'm moving product around. So yeah. Yeah, I can do that. That was the one that had the uh, lucite stone in it. Let me get it real quick and, and ask to make sure. Okay. I like to make sure doubly that that's what it is. <laughs> I have different so old to Rebecca. I have different stations that I put things in that I can just grab it immediately. I just want to double check and make sure this is the belt buckle. I only showed one so far tonight. Just say no, yeah, not the lapis, Whoa. not the lapis one. No, uh, Jennifer thought it was the lapis belt. That was the that was the um, belly dancing belt. Yeah, the belt I think buckle Re is this one. Right, I think Rebecca was wanted that one. Yeah, the belt buckle, not the belt. Is this the correct? That was the lucite um, belt buckle. She said no, the buckle, not the belt. Right. So, you so I'm, I'm making sure this is it. And Rebecca, can you confirm, please? Mm 
Yeah, this is a belt buckle. It's got the, the little piece here in the in the part for your belt. Yeah, this is it. Yep, it does. It looks Native American. It does. Yeah. All right. You got it. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Let him have it. With no problem. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so funny. All right. So I was doing these ones. So, yes, we found these. Um, these are magnetic. I They look gold. Let's go down scope and look at them a little bit better. Hold on. Bingo. So they are signed Crements. Crements. Um, they are not, uh, they are, those, that is uh, coral, angel skin coral. Um, let's do these for, uh, I could start them at $20. These are in beautiful shape. They almost look like, they're brand new. And they are marked Crements. Crements. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. There we go. Yeah, that's correct. Crements. But these are, this is definitely real coral. This is not... Um, this is not plastic or anything like that. It's really, really cool. They, and here's the other one. Very well made. Yeah, the gold looks, it looks, looks like gold. I mean, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't have known. Because I'll tell you, I when I came across them, I'm like, I get gold. I struck gold. Because that's how good they look. They don't, actually, under that light, it doesn't look as good as, there we go. Nope, this one. Oops, okay, here. I mean, they, they look really they look good. Rolled gold. Is there claim to fame? Could be. These are absolutely stunning screwbacks. Oh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. I didn't drop your, I didn't drop her information. What's wrong with me? <laughs> um, also, Jennifer has her own channel. She does a lot of unboxings and stuff. So let me, let me drop I'm that. For you while you go do your round. Okay, cool. Thanks so much. All right, we're going to pass. Isn't that weird though? How, um, I mean, everybody loves the, um, loves the angel skin coral and but they just thought it was you know um like they would pair it with um non you know uh precious metals they wouldn't they you know that's how common it was and now you can't you can't get it because they're not they're not harvesting it anymore all right so i got some huggies we found these on Wednesday. And they have a little bit of topaz in there. They are adorable. They are true huggies. So down let's go. So let's start. These are sterling. It's a brushed silver. Then it has um, um, vermeil around the setting and they are marked 925 and that is it that's all they're marked is 925 i think there is a i think there is a mark in there i can show you that in a minute uh let's start these at um 20 bucks i know that's a crazy price but i i did i said 20 
there, let's see. There is a mark, a maker's mark, and I'm not familiar with it. There it is. It almost looks like an eyeball. It is 925, and ah, uh, it's too shiny. See, it almost looks like an evil eye. I don't know whose, whose is that, but these are, oh, my fingerprint all over it. These are um, topaz, blue topaz. And they're little huggies. And I don't see anyone for these. So I guess we're just going to pass. All right. And one. Let's see. Oh, where'd the kitties go? Oh, there they are. We also found these. These are sterling. They're kitties. And they're not. Oh, you never heard a price. Uh, what did I say? I think I said 20 bucks. I have 34 written on the written on there, but um I said 20. I wanted to start it at 20. So if oh Jane's sorry, I'll go back. The the, the lag is real. <laughs> the lag is real. Yes, yeah, starting at 20 bucks. And they're thick. These are pretty thick. And that is sterling. Oh, we're looking for 22. Not a bid, just an answer. Okay. I think Suzanne. Yep. Yeah. So Suzanne's in for 20. Oh, she's not bidding either. Just the answer. <laughs> Never mind. I got you. No, thanks. Thanks, guys. We're going to pass. So let's go back to the kitties. Kitties. Don't go. Do, 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 do. These are sterling. Aren't they cute? They're studs. They are marked sterling, not 925. So these are definitely older. Repose. Let's start these at, I don't know, 14 bucks. I know that's ridiculous, but I did. I said it. These are definitely older. I did sell, I know I sold um, a pin, the same exact thing as these. I didn't realize that there was um, earring somewhere. Did not realize they were earrings. These are an inch across. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, I mean, I can't hold hold on to everything and wait to see if there's another piece to the set. Usually, Uncle puts the things together, you know. Usually sets her together with him. Um, he probably bought these absolutely separate. No one likes the kitties. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a dog crowd, I guess. <laughs> All right, let me do, let's pass on those. And what else I got? Ah, oh, this is nice. All right. This is very nice. This is, it's a size seven. This is rubies and it is sterling vermeil. You can see they do glow. It glows. It glows. Heaven knows that it glows. And I think this tiny little, let me just double check. I believe that they're, 
um sorry no, they might not be metal. they're small very small look i thought that there was um the chips nope that's not even a chip yep very in the middle yep very tiny so there's some oxidation there these are really pretty sapphire not uh rubies cushion cut it is a lobster clasp it is marked 925 right there right where my finger is i mean how do they expect people to find that um and then it says what does it say there it looks like china could be china yep yep you're right yep. It's just neat. And then there's the 925 right there. Oh, see the R? This is a Ross Simmons. This is Ross Simmons. Jennifer is asking, what was your starting bid? Um, what did I write down? Where's my, where's my notes? I wrote down 50. Let's start it at 40. Uh, I know that's stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway. I just want to, I, I got to move this stuff. <laughs> just, it's got to go. Ross Simmons, yeah. Definitely Ross Simmons. Yeah, that, I didn't really, I didn't even know that that R was in there. It's very different. It's very different from all the other ones that I've had. That's why I didn't recognize that it was Ross Simmons. Very pretty. It is very dainty. I mean, uncles, most of uncle stuff, he, he was like, I'm here. So, you know, like those other bracelets that I had, but there are, a, there, you know, he, he goes from, you know, very, um, well, look at this ring. Hello. He goes from I'm here to, you know, very petite. So very dainty. And what size was this? Oh, it's a size seven. Definitely smaller than the other ones. So I don't see anyone. It's not pretty. It's different. It looks, it looks, um, it looks very vintage. You like dainty, vintagey stuff? Well, and that's my, I think, three, right? One, two, yep, three. That's it. That's what I got. Where'd he go? There he is. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is this going to be our last round or we got another one after this? We can do, this will be our last round, I think. Okay. All right, this first one is a crystal, and it looks like it might be marcasites, but by the time I look at it through the loop, it doesn't look like it is. So I think it's just the way the metal is made. Yeah, that's not marcasites. It's just the way this is made. But anyway, there's the back of it. There is no markings on this one. And there's the front of it. Right at the top up here, you have a crystal right there at the top. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's got little flowers around it. Shame into a heart somewhat. And it's got the bouquet, the uh, bow at the bottom. And it's got it does move the little pearls, just floats. <clears throat> if you look at the bottom of the pearl, you got the little stopper right there. There you go, right there. And there's a crystal right at the top up here. It's 
She's like, yeah, I don't like big old statement stuff. But a lot of majority of Uncle's stuff was statement stuff, but not everything. He he just liked a little bit of everything. Very well made too. That's very pretty. A lot of the stuff I've been processing from an, was an estate sale. That looks like it's from the eighties, like something I would have worn, like at the top of my, you know, what uh, a button-down shirt, and you put it at the yep. top of the collar. Yep. That's what that reminds me of. Thank you very much for looking. <clears throat> All right, my next one is another Sarah Coventry. Y'all see, I'm bringing a lot of Sarah Coventry because I've been processing a lot of Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> All right, this is a 24-inch necklace. It is a vintage Sarah Coventry. And I'll show you the back first because there's what it tags at. It is a spring ring clasp. Yep, spring rain class. I'll have to look again to make sure, which is right there. And then the front, you have this chain link type chain. And then there's your little medallion at the bottom. I looked this one up, and the only thing I can find in this one was in silver. I did not find any in gold. There's the back of it and the veil. That reminds me of like a um, um, a rising sun or something. Yeah. There's the back of it and the back of the veil. And there's the front of it. It's beautiful. The middle is definitely a silver tone, but everything else is gold tone. There we go. Jennifer's asking you where you got the necklace board. I was thinking the same thing because you ha it has all those little pegs in the back. Oh, yeah, this one is I got from uh, Michael's. I'm getting a lot of my stuff from Michael's. And the brand is Bead Landing is the brand. Thank you. But yeah, I got this at Michael's. But it's called Bead Landing, which is one of the Michael's brands. And then it, I like that because of the pegs here. You can adjust it as you need it. Yeah. Because the board is kind of short, but you still can pretty well go pretty long. But yeah, I got that at Michael's online. Anywho, um, this is what I have to offer right now. And again, I like that because again, it's pretty long, so I can adjust the actual length by coming down, and we can still reach the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still can't get this thing right in the middle of the screen. There we go. I'll be cooking with Earl. <laughs> I just read your sign, the coffee sign. Oh, yeah. You can, you can sleep when you're dead. <laughs> that's my motto. Because <laughs> I feel like that some days. <laughs> yeah. Even on the days I want to sleep in and I can't. So that's yeah, different. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. And my last offering for tonight is another Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. This, this is a maple leaf with a full pearl. Again, it is marked right on the bottom of the stem of the leaf. Sarah Coventry. There's your back. Oh, I didn't have a pen. It's got your C-class closure. I don't need to be poking myself. So there's your back. And this is the front. Give me a little tool right here. There we go. And the faux of pearl is um, prong set. That's very pretty. You can see the prongs all the way around it. Yeah, my camera moved. <laughs> and you can see all the details in the leaf. Yes, you can. Yeah, 
even down to the stem. Yeah, that's amazing. And you can see how it's made on it kind of curves like a maple leaf would. Yeah, I was just going to say and that. Like, like each of the little stems of the leaves is like a diamond cut. It looks like it's real gold. Yeah, it's not. I know, but it's it's well made. It look it's right. And I use an earth magnet. Oh, it's not sticking. Hmm, I have to test it. Mm -hmm. It's not sticking to the earth magnet. But I always test it. Yeah. All right, that's a pass. Thank y'all very much. And that was my three. Alrighty. I don't know. I have I have a couple more things. I mean, I could I could just be here all night. Is this is there anything before I just show? I have a couple of rings that I'm gonna show, but is there anything that I missed that anybody was waiting for? Just let me know. Um I do have a couple of rings and then I uh, this will be my last round. This one, this again reminds me of the 80s with the Onyx. Request, yes, request from Wednesday. Um, I didn't get any emails asking to bring specific, well, I got one or two, but um, um, anything that anybody asked me for, I already brought. So this one is Onyx Sterling. And it's a size nine. And what did I write? I'm going to start this at 26 bucks. Look at that. So the Onyx is prong set. And it's just pretty. It's elegant. I'm going to go down scoop. Here we go. Isn't that nice? And it's... uh. The shank is a V or a Y. <laughs> 925 there. And that's the only thing that I believe is is um is written in there. Just the 925. Really, really pretty though. And it's a size nine. I see you, Suzanne, for 26. I used to wear a lot of Onyx back in the day. Didn't we all? <laughs> um, I have a, I have a ring somewhere with, um, with the square Onyx set in gold with the, with the pearl in the middle. Remember we used to wear those? Um, yeah. Going once, going twice. Look at Jennifer's like, go once, going twice. Here we go. $26. Suzanne. Woohoo! Congratulations, sweetie. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it. You have three necklaces, necklace and earrings. There you go. Yes, congratulations. All right. This one is really cute. Oh, and do you remember the, I brought the turtle back. <laughs> this is really, really pretty. I love the marcasites. Um, and let's see, these are crystals. These are not um, like CZs. Or is it coming up as quartz? Let me see. Nope, these are CZs. Uh, so, but it looks, they look real. They really do. Um, this is a size eight and a half sterling. Uh, let's start this. This is heavy. Let's start this at 30. It's really, really nice. Yeah, these markers, these are nice marker sites. Uh, I, I, it's a really nice ring. It is kind of different. And these are like the good marker sites. Like we were saying earlier that 
that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that the, some of the market sites now don't look as good as the older market sites. But these ones, these are, these look good. Yeah. Mama gonna knock you out. <laughs> Remember that song? It's definitely, uh, yeah, it's not going to bend. That's for sure. It's thick. It's heavy. I can weigh it too if you need to, if you need me to. It's got some weight to it. I'm going to knock you out. Mama's going to knock you out. All right, ready? 10.3 grams. So it's, it's a good amount. It would leave a beautiful impression. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you like that song too. All right, I think we're going to pass on this. And then the last one is... I'm a little turtle. This is really adorable. I wish it fit. It doesn't. It's a size six. It's a little turtle. And the stone, it's like a, it's purple CZ, but it's like, it, it flex purple and blue. So it kind of reminds, it really reminds me of like a, um, a tanzanite, but it's not. Isn't, isn't that cute? Hold on. Let's go down scope. Down scope. It's so nicely done. So it's surrounded. It's got eyeballs of marcasites, and then it's all surrounded with marcasites here. It's little feet. The tail doesn't stick out too much, so it's not going to like get caught on anything. Which, of course, you know, I think about that. And I think it only just says nine two five. Yep, just the nine two five. But yeah, um, there's pinks and blues, and but it just reminds me of a dark. Um, tanzanite but it's it's not really really adorable and it's a size six what did i say let's start it at 20 bucks that's a lot of sterling actually though i have it um uh, i have it listed for more but the shank is it's very it's very nice i like it Oh, Wendy's in for 20. Rebecca's in for 20. Oh. The last item of the night and we've got we, we've got an auction. <laughs> Clean them off. There we go. It's really I love like this Marcusite eyeballs. So nice. Wendy's at 24. Thank you so much for your bids. I really appreciate you. He's definitely different. Rebecca's at 26. Let me come back up and really, really, really pretty. See how I, what I mean by it kind of looks like a tanzanite with the purpley blue. That's what it reminds me of. But he's, it's so different. Looking for 28. Wendy's at 28. I see you. And it doesn't go too, too high either. I can't, it won't fit on my pinky. Otherwise, I used to collect um, turtles back in the day. Uh, yeah, a little tip. Never kiss your turtle. Never kiss your turtle. Wendy, thank you for telling me. Uh, Wendy, out to Wendy. Rebecca, thank you so much for telling me. That helps us so much. Uh, yeah, don't kiss your turtles. It is, oh, this is 7.4 grams. It's heavy. Fair warning and 
Sold, sold, sold to Wendy. Thanks so much, Wendy. And it's $28. And Wendy, um, if you could send your information, Salmonella, that's right. See, Jennifer's heard the story. Do not kiss your turtles. When I was six years old or five, five or six, I got uh, some two box of turtles and I loved them so much. I kissed my turtles and then I got Simonella and was deathly ill from Simonella. It was awful. So don't kiss your turtles. This, you can kiss this, but don't kiss, don't kiss your lizards either. No. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I know we got some weird stories here. Um, and that was something I've never heard of. What? Getting Salmonella from a turtle? Yeah, girl, I just like cooking them and eating them. Oh, oh. A good old, oh. turtle, a good old turtle sauce pecan. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, that. no, I never had. I've had gator, and I've had a lot of other things, but not not turtle. Um, mm. My grandfather used to cook it all the time for me. Really? What type mm -hmm. of turtle would he use? I don't know, but it was good. <laughs> you don't know. Right. I just know. I always would ask what it is, and he, he would always tell me. But um, my brother never wanted to know. My family never never wanted to know what was cooked until they ate after they ate. And then sometimes they didn't want to know what it was after that. All Hello, right. big little uh, gal. All right. So Wendy, there's my information. Oh, she's did she send it to me? Oh, did she send it to um? Did you I get it? I have Wendy's from okay. my channel. So Wendy, I can get it from I can get it from him as well. Yeah. You eat snap. You you can eat snappy turtle. I Hi, like Bob. A, That's Bob. Snappy turtle. That's Bob. Yeah. Um. I. We ate whatever. Hold on. I'm gonna bring you up. We ate whatever was put in front of us because we. We. I went to bed hungry a lot when I was a child. Ooh, not me. So, well. Yeah, we were, I, we were so poor, we were poor, P-O-R. We couldn't afford the second O because we were so poor. We, we, yeah. grew, we grew up with a family of six of us in the family. And yeah, it was, you learn, how, we eat what you want to eat or you go to bed hungry. That's right. That's right. And and, but bed hungry I get, I eat. My, my post-traumatic stress from that is if I can see the back of my fridge, I get nervous i have to like go food shopping it's bad it's bad yeah. um but I when mean, i started I cooking i used to cook so it didn't matter because i would eat while i was while i was cooking you know so i gotta taste the food you know i make sure right. it's good. my grandmother cooked a lot but i didn't live with my grandmother my mom it was my mom uh me and my brother and all right from my grandmother and we, we were on food stamps uh i actually found a couple of things of food stamps like we never, you know, I don't think we were, I don't know I don't think we were ever on food stamps though. No, not that I know. Oh, no. I I found the books. I got the books. Yeah, I don't, Actually, not that I know of it. Again, I I didn't know that if we did we were. Oh no! I uh, yeah we. I'll I'll have to show. Well, look, we had leftover rice and we had eggs, and I would do some rice patties. I'd make something. Look at look at look at. Oh wow. Those are old. That's what I'm saying. Now, I remember had, seeing those before. Yes, my mom did have those. You now had to rip them out. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So I got uh, actually. Now I we really lived life. at the commissary because my grandmother. I used to always go with her in the summertime, and we get our commodities. We yeah, and food. we get. The, I love the cheese, the welfare Ooh, cheese. Yes, indeed. And the peanut butter. My mom. The. Uh, you remember those, yeah. Um, uh, she'd get uh, um, some chocolate, like the baker's chocolate, mm -hmm. and uh, she'd melt that. Um, she'd take, she'd make like little balls with the with the peanut butter, and she'd dip it in there, and that would be the candy because we couldn't afford candy, right? You know, but we she didn't do that a lot. You know, usually Dennis would. Get into that peanut butter. Once a like, week was our treat of candy, and back then it was only a, a nickel for a candy bar. Yeah, I was always the um, back in the day, right? I um, remember when <laughs> I walked uphill both ways. 
uh, in the snowstorm. It don't snow down south. <laughs> nope. I think I might have yeah. saw snow twice when I was young. Maybe, if that. It's funny that uh, I just came across those. Really crazy. Um, but, yeah, it made really good mac and cheese, The um, that, that cheese. The commodity cheese? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It made really good mac and cheese because I mean, like the stuff in the oven. We used to make mm -hmm. it in the oven, like not. Yep. It did. It wasn't out uh, back then. It didn't come out of a box back then, right? You know, they didn't have it. We never did anything like that out of a box. Yeah, my mom wasn't a good cook. She could make a sandwich. She could make good sandwiches, and there was certain things that she could make. But um, you know, my grandmother, yeah, she was a baby the girl. Yeah, but we call the commodities. Commodities. Okay. She, um, she was the baby girl of the 11. So she was, you know, more spoiled because she had all Martha had 22 kids. Girl. Can you imagine that family? Who, what? My uncle had 22 kids. That Majority of them were all twins. Wow. My, so my grandmother had 11. Um, and then her sister had 10. Uh, my aunt, my great aunt Maria had 10. My mother's very good friend. There was, there was 18 of them. And they, I think there was only one set of twins out of the 18. Yeah. We're, we're a big family. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, yeah. Now I have nobody. Well, not a lot. You guys are my family. <laughs> that's true. That's how we do it now. It really, really, I, um, yeah. Well, she put the word barefoot and pregnant in, in the word barefoot and pregnant. Oh, Lord Jesus, help us. <laughs> help us they all. Live the bay, they live down the bayou down too. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we all have a family member or two. I, I still have, um, my aunt and uncle still live on a bayou. So, I mean, my son was like, he's like, went out into the front area. I mean, you could, the water's right there. And um, there was like a little uh, ditch, and my uncle's like, "Don't go, in, don't go near the ditch. We just had a bunch of rain, and there was a little gator in the in the ditch." Yep. And my son was like, "What the hell? We're, we're city folk, you know." So yeah. it was it was good. It was good for him well, to have when that. When you lived out in the bayou, it was either across the bayou, down the bayou, or up the bayou. Up the bayou, it. yeah. In directions, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, shooting in the water before you went swimming. That was an indication to not go swimming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was an indication. And then the no, um, swimming is in the bayou. Right. Well, that's where he took, that's where we went swimming. My dad threw us in there, so you gotta swim with a sink. Yeah. Um, and then they weren't gonna take me um on the boat to to uh but they let me hold the light. And I had to flash it on the side and look for the eyes. Nobody believed me when I come back. I'm like, we were looking for eyes. They're like, what are you talking about? Now you see, they show that on TV. So you can see mm -hmm. it, but they, yep. you know, it was funny. It's ridiculous yep. that they dropped my food, my food stamp amount because my daughter had a part-time job that all goes to her and her car. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know how that works out like that. Uh, what did Jane say that she said that that was sad? Hers went down to $23 in Illinois. Mm -mm -mm. That's horrible. Um, yeah, we have, um, we used to go to the food banks. Uh, sometimes I'd have to go myself, you know, when the kids were little, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do when you have kids. Like I'll salve. I'm I'm used to going to bed hungry. My kids never, never had to deal with that. Thank God. You know. Um, if I had to, I'd eat a peanut butter sandwich and go to bed. You know? Right. Yeah. But I remember my aunt calling up the house and saying, uh, "Bubita, what's in the what's in the fridge?" And I'd open up the fridge and I said, "Ice cubes." Like there wasn't even condiments because we ate them. Wow. Like, like we, when I'm, uh, yeah, it was crazy. But, you know, you do what you got to do to survive. You do. And you know what? I'm very appreciative of so much now. And, um, you know, and when I see people when they out begging for food or whatever, like I never give money. 
I always give like food or like a bottled water or something like that. I never yeah. give money because. You know, I know where that goes. The reason you want is they give you, a, they have a sign like this one guy used to make fun of because he said, I'm being honest. I want money for a taco and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then one day there was this lady, every, every time we turned around, she was always pregnant. And she had a sign, I'm pregnant, I need money. But she wasn't so one pregnant. day, one day after a while, it's like, okay, I got to stop. I was at the red light and I stopped and I rolled my window down. I said, how long are you going to stay pregnant for, girl? You've been pregnant for three years. Yep. There's are you a girl in downtown Boston, Boston, the same she corner. Was never at that corner. She never went back to that corner again. <laughs> There's a woman, I swear, she and she sits there with the... My face like this. And, uh, yeah. And then well, there's the people that caught, they caught some people. Uh, mm -hmm. The guy was dropping off the woman with children and then picking them up. And he was in a Mercedes and they were panhandling well, they all day. They don't worry about that in New Orleans. They had they that up here too. Walks away, walk to the corner. And they, they, they were, there was my friend who was working for a newspaper back in Baton, uh, Baton Rouge. Uh -huh. And he was doing a story on it. And he sat there and investigated, watching them and videoing them leaving from the corner and going around two blocks around mm -hmm. and getting into their Mercedes. Yeah. And so he interviewed one of them. And he said, why you do this? Why you just don't get a job and you got a, a nice car? You're driving a Mercedes because we can and it's tax free. That's right. It's that was his recall. Yeah. That happens here, too, in Minnesota. They take turns. That's right, Jennifer. Yep. And it's crazy because like I said, I won't I won't give money. I always give some of them want they'll they'll <laughs> give you a QR code and they'll say they'll ask you to put it on their Venmo. Well, you know, in New Orleans, they made us uh because we used to give food to the uh, homeless every every Sunday through our church. We would put uh, bags oh, together, brown bags. You can't do that anymore because we were gonna we were gonna get arrested if we kept feeding to them because they want us to bring it to the shelter so they can go and check into the shelter. Well, up here they don't allow you to do that anymore because people, you know, we, cause I worked in the restaurant business and we would donate it to, um, um, the vets place. And, the, you know, they were right. They weren't far from where I worked. So if we had any, um, large, uh, we would have pizzas at the end of the night, um, and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, they stopped doing that because a, somebody got salmonella or like sick, food poisoning or not from not from us but they sued the city so you can't because they sued the city um they they don't allow you i think somebody donated like like a cheese plate that was sitting out and they got sick from that or something mm. like that so they sued the city and um they don't allow you to do that in boston anymore i don't know if it's the whole state but i know in boston you can't you right can't in lemonster in our area there's a sign. You will get arrested if you panhandle or you give to those who are trying to panhandle. Really? Oh, yes. There's signs at the red lights over here in our area. That's good. I like, you know, I mean, there are, there's agencies, there's places for them to go to do that. Um, I, 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 I think it's not safe to be. Well, here in Boston, they had a big thing not that long ago where they were putting people up in uh, housing. And giving them housing vouchers to get them off the street. Yes. Yes. There is a, um, um, they call it, um, cause my stepdaughters told me about it. They have these little buildings too. They're like little cubes and you can, and they put you in that and then you get into housing, but it's a lottery. <clears throat> yeah. And, and it's the, these little um, like two by fours or whatever. And it's, it's almost like a little city. So they're trying to get everybody off Mass Ave. Mass Ave is a, is a horrible, horrible area. Yeah, that's on the news a lot, yeah. Yep. So, anywho, now that we've talked about all that kind of crazy stuff, um, I want to thank everybody for coming. Johnny, thank you so much for coming thank and for hanging out. Me. Can you tell everybody where you're going to be? This is going to take all night because, honey, you are everywhere. everywhere. You know, I talk quick. <laughs> I'm an auctioneer, baby. I can get it done quick. Every Monday yeah. morning, Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do the morning show. Every Monday night at 4.30, I do a bingo. And everyone is welcome to play. And it's free to play, free to win, free to ship. 
And then every Wednesday, I do a hump day auction. That's at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I do have three co-hosts and two guests every Wednesday. And then the first uh, Tuesday of the month, I do a uh, rapid fire round uh, showcasing my members of my channel. And those are for those who are members of the channel can be on the panel, but you do not have to be a member to purchase or be in the chat. And that's the first Tuesday of each month. And I use Kofi. Uh, I also ship from Massachusetts, and I also uh, use Pardship. Uh, I, as of everyone who purchased tonight that I did not have before, I do have your information. Thank you for filling out the form, the job form that I use, as well as uh, come over and check out our channel. Uh, come check us out in the morning. I saw a lot of Q&As if you're interested by getting into reselling uh, different platforms. I do uh, resell on eBay, Macari, Etsy, Poshmark, and I do whatnot, and I have two antique boots. But if you go to my channel, you'll see every one of my links. I even have a link tree with everything linked into that. So you can't miss out if you're trying to check out what I have uh, on any of my uh, pl platforms I sell on. And that's about it and about me in a nutshell. Now, by the way, I will be in invoicing this Friday evening because I have two other auctions. Thursday, I'll be on with Ella Save Here First. As we all know, Ella, Ella, Ella. And Friday, I'll be on with Dawn's Southern Finds and Yarn Again this Friday. And that's on Dawn's Southern Finds, Dawn's channel. And that'll be at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's about me in a nutshell. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. That's it. <laughs> well, oh, no. you guys know I'm here on Monday nights at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time uh, for the live sale. And on Wednesday at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I do the unboxing. And we just go through whatever stuff I grab that day. And uh, I don't know what I have. So it's a surprise to me as well. <laughs> Um, and I think that's about it. And sometimes I do, I'm on, I'm not on anybody. I think I'm on yours in a few weeks, right? I'm, I'm on with you in, the, in a couple of weeks. Let me, that, let me look at that calendar because I have a separate calendar for that. Yes, right. you will be on the 24th, not this Wednesday, but next. Yep. So, uh, your email that Saturday morning with your links for the show. The 24th. Awesome. Yep. Yes. So, um, yeah, watch, watch for us there. Watch for me there. I um, I love you guys. You guys are the best. You show up. Oh, Jennifer, did you put in? She put in her own link. Yeah, she I'm, did. Usually she doesn't. Yeah. No, she doesn't. But though that's fine. I I'm so glad you did. Um, thank you so much, Jennifer. You're amazing. Um, and thank you everybody for showing up. You always do, and it's a. I don't know. I I love you. If nobody's told you today, you are fabulous. And you are loved. And I have prayers going for your families and for mine and for Johnny's, for all of us. You know, we all need a little, <laughs> all need a little help. Um, and you guys could have been anywhere, but you were here with me and each other. And I, I just, I'm so thankful. I am very thankful for my YouTube family. So uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, but don't forget to be kind to yourself. Because we all do that. And I always say that because I have to remind me to be kind to me <laughs> as well. Um, so have a great night. And thanks again. Bye, y'all. As I said before in all my shows, love always. Love is always free. Please be kind to one another till we meet into another chat. Have a blessed and fabulous day. And until we meet again, later. Peace out. And y'all come back now, you hear? Bye, y'all.